Come on. Go live. My check, my check. <clears throat> Get back to Twitch. Let's see if I'm back live on Twitch. Come on, Twitch. Come on. You can do it. Or not. Happened to them because they told me about it personally. This junk trying to make me see an old video. Oh, there it is. There it is. We're live on Twitch. All right, now for the tuber. See who's good laughing the tuber. Wait, what channel am I logged into right now? <laughs> there we go. That's right, channel. Right there. Alright. Now we're talking. Okay, oh dang, I already got people in here. Didn't even know. How y'all doing? I'm over thought I was talking to myself. Why is it showing me that it's only five people in here, but we got 14 likes? That makes no sense. I see way more than five people here. This thing is lagging. Is that my fault? Oh, it's 97 people in here. Goodness gracious, that thing lied. Y'all, we're here for episode nine. Hope y'all got your coffee or popcorn or something ready, because we're going to be here a while. This is a two-hour long episode. So we y'all can look. What time is it? It's about eight, about going on 8.30. We probably going to be here to about 11. Yep, about 11. That's crazy. That's real crazy. But we're going to be here. We're going to be live the whole time. I just got back from getting me some, some matches, and I got me a case of water because I ain't had no, I was thirsty last night. I had to get up 2.30 in the morning to go to Quick Trip get me some water because I ain't had no water. I was thirsty. Ugh. I got to have my water. But anyway, don't mind me now. Y'all know I'm slow. Boom. There we go. There we go. Already with a jumped up from 97 to 168 live viewers. Keep hitting that like button. Keep on hitting it. I see you. I see you. I watched you. I just saw you hit it. Keep doing that. We're trying to get another 500 likes by the end of this live stream tonight. I know we can do it. I know we can do it because we're the mafia. Dallas Hill with the first one in the building. Sabrina. Yum, yum, bubblegum, brown, and presty. My moderator back in here. Y'all, we live on Twitch too if you want to see the stream extra crispy because I'm going to let you know. I had to get this video. I had to pull it in like 480p. I couldn't get 720 or, or, or 1080. So it's going to look a little wonky over here on the tuber until they process in a couple of hours. But on Twitch, you can get it as crispy as we can possibly make it. Go ahead. Follow us on Twitch. Art of Kicks. You know the name. It's the same. We're everywhere. Tori, Dark, Lonely Wolf. Lone Wolf, I meant to say. You look, you know, Lonely Wolf. But anyway, Aaron, Elizabeth, the Viking in the building. Gold Millions back at it again. Hunter the Expedition. I see you. Expeditiously, Rochelle, Mike, was good. What's popping? Hundred pineapples. I see up in here. Jennifer, Rhonda, Pine, uh, Panda. I'm about to call you Pineapple Express. Panda, Assassin, Jason, Sazzle Dazzle. I'm seeing people in here from earlier that was in the live stream that I did a couple of hours ago. Katisha, what's up? Shadow, Camille. I knew you was gonna be here. Andrea, I knew you was gonna be here too. What up, Katie? Caddy. Which one is it? EJR68 was good. How you doing? Hello to you. Hello, hello. Melissa. Good to see you back in here again. Serenity. What's popping? Y'all we're at 206. When we get to 250, I'm gonna do my intro so y'all can do it with me. That's how y'all know when I'm gonna do the intro. We wait till we get to 250 live viewers. Joe Joy said they like the video. The moment it popped up, that's what I'm talking about. That's the way I like to see it. We already 102 likes. That means we on a roll. We are on a roll and we are going to get to 500 likes in no time. That's right. Before we get halfway through the video, we're going to have 500 likes. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? It ain't going to take us an hour to get 500 likes. I know that because we the mafia. The one and only. Can't nobody do it better than us. I was talking to a friend of mine today. Literally, like, when I went to, I walked out the door to go get my matcha and, and a case of water. And she was like, man, she was like, I love the relationship that you have with your viewers. 
Like if, if you can't do a live stream or something, you let them know, you know, and then they'd be like, oh, it's OK. It's, you know, we understand, you know, we'll catch you in the next one. It's like you're in a relationship with them. It's like they're your girlfriend or, or, or boyfriend or something. It's like you, you tell them. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know. I let, I let them know what's going on with your boy. So that they won't jump to any conclusions, but at the same time, so they can just be in the loop. So they're made aware. So they know what's popping. Oh, so it's, oh, so that's what it is. It's Katie, but spelled Caddy or spelled Katie. <laughs> Yeah, we in here, baby. We is in here. Wait, hold on. You're watching the VMAs. I should be watching that as well. Is that on MTV? Never mind. I only got that. I only got MTV. Does it, does MTV live stream on YouTube? Shante, let me know. Was what, what are you watching the VMAs? You watch on TV? I don't got cable. That's messed up. I miss cable sometimes. <laughs> Y'all, we almost there. Eight more live viewers, and then we can do the intro. Y'all know what to do to get those live viewers in here. Hit that like button. I don't want y'all to trip out. If, if my shirt starts to aggravate y'all, please let me know because it looks good right now. But when the video pops up, you're going to be able to see through my shirt. You're going to be able to see what's happening behind me through this word main on my chest right now. But let's go. Y'all ready? What up, AOK -okay Mafia? It's your boy, Art of Kicks, and just like that, we back with another one. Yeah, we back with another one, all right. This is episode nine, season one, alone, at a real-life nun hospital, alone, paranormal edition. Season one, episode nine. Let's get it. There's a whole family tree. Oh my God, Dorothy! That's that's her. Hello. Oh, oh sh This is scary as. F oh, I don't even want to go any further. Jesus. You okay? No, f no. My man's in bad shape. Help me. That dude's in bad shape too, cause he can't see. Y'all, I'm over here already getting scared. I just felt something touching my finger. It was a freaking yo-yo string. Arizona, I know where they're going. And we're back to the blind man. I get very anxious when things are not going as planned. I know what you mean. That was me last night. That's why I couldn't go to sleep until the sun came up. I ain't go to sleep until the sun came up. That's messed up. I went down when the sun came up. That's crazy. <sighs> Bro, I want to get out of here. I'm literally panicking. I'm in the middle of the freaking desert. It'd be great if a spirit could give me a sign, show me how to get to the brothel. That'd be great because this obviously ain't it. Let's see if we can find an actual place. I feel like I need to just lay down. You need to start over, bro, because where are you right now? I've been to Vulture City, and I still don't know where you are. Just sleep for the rest of the night. Yeah, you probably do need to lay down to go to sleep and wake up and try again in the daytime where you can see. Because who knows where we're actually going right now, the workshop. Workshop. It's not where we're supposed to be, but I guess it's where we're gonna go. Whoa. Hello? Look at this stuff. Look at this old safe. Nice. You think they actually kept gold in here? What is that, like a back door? Oh wow, so it's like a safe within a safe. That's pretty cool. You know you have some important stuff when you have that. Could you imagine being back out here in the early Bro, my man is out here in the desert of Arizona. It's hot. He got a pullover on, sweating bullets. Why, bro? Take that off, man. You got me hot. Got me hot. Why? Why you got a pull? You never need a pullover in Arizona. 1800s, 1900s. Having to travel all alone must have been the most scariest thing ever to do. I give so much credit to people that were able to travel and go to certain places where they were able to get gold. Just think how many lives were lost 
just traveling to places. F bro. Yo, did you hear that? That literally sounded like a voice coming from back there. Wow. This is literally the scariest thing ever being in a place that you don't even know if you're even allowed or supposed to be in. Take it off, you know you want to. Because this definitely isn't the brothel, and it's not any of the places that I was told about. It, yep, it's not. It's definitely not. I don't need. Do I remember this place? That's one thing I do remember about Vulture City is some of the places, rooms where they don't want you to walk all the way into, they have them fenced off like this. I don't recall this room though, or this building. It feels like since I've gotten in here, it's gotten literally 20, 30 degrees hotter. Yes, some of those buildings are hot as crap. I was like, why? Get ready for this, guys. Place that I have no idea what the hell is. Whoa. Hello? Wait a minute. Hey, Yo, hello? that door just swung open. I just realized this. The lights are actually on in here. How my man just realized that the lights is on, y'all? How my man just realized the lights is on. I'm sorry, but that's blind. That's 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 blind. First thing I would have noticed, thank God, lights on in here. My guy. You're wildin' right now. Shout out to my people on Twitch watching us. What a stream is crispy clean. He didn't notice that door swing open. Did you guys see it? I'm going to go back for y'all. When he heard a noise, you could see the door. Watch the door. Hello? You see it opening? You see it opening? He didn't even notice that. He too busy looking at a light. He's like, oh, my eyes are drawn to the light. I can see. I'm just realizing this. The lights are actually on in here. And he didn't see that door when he turned around. That's wild. That literally came from over here. Oh. Bro, that door opened up even more. He still have not noticed it. Literally came from over here. Oh my god, guys. Hello? There's literally nobody out here. He noticed the door that time. Maybe it just got a bad hinge or something. Guys, I mean, this is not the brothel. This is not the doctor's office. It's not any of the things that they told me about. It might be one of their personal areas. I don't even know, but I'm gonna get on out of here because it's definitely not what we're looking for. And there's something just really freaky about it. I'm sorry to have disturbed you. I'm gonna go now. We found the Osei building. We're not gonna go there. We're gonna save that for last. The doctor's office is over here. The surreal building where they held the gold in a tunnel which is going to be underground, which apparently no one's checked out in, in many years. I'm going to check that out for you guys here today. Wow. This is it. Bro, I would have been like, hey, man, look, look, Omar, my vision ain't the best, so I'm going to need my glasses or uh, some contact lenses. I think this is the actual tree. Predict. Whoa, what did that just say? Predict. So this is the actual tree that they say 18 people were hung. Which I don't understand because were those 18 people four feet tall or something? Because that tree is low. I said the same thing when I was there. I'm like, they hung people from this tree? what they do? Tie their freaking feet to their waist? Because you you could just stand under this tree and your head is going to be at the, at the limb of this tree. At the, like. So there's 18 people that are documented that actually did die by hanging on the hanging tree. I'm sure there's... The hanging tree is so low. Many more. But the Look at this. Where are they hung them from? I know they hang them from right here because you will hit your head on this if you walk underneath that. 
They must have hung him from a branch way up high. Problem is, with like with historians, right? They want birth certificate and a, a note of death. The problem is, back in those days, people didn't have all this documentation. And unfortunately, with Ultra City, a lot of that stuff has been lost over the years. It's even rumored to say that a lot of those bodies that were hanging from that hanging tree would stay there for many days and actually start to decay and would literally fall from rot to the ground. Or you might have a. Who the heck was living in Vulture City and walked past? Oh man, it go body hanging from the tree right here. Oh, do, 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 do. I want to smell that in that hot summer air every single day. No, is the moment you hung them and as soon as they clocked out, take them down, bury them, something. I don't look. Hey, they look. I'm so glad we don't live in those times because they was nasty back then. Good Samaritan that would cut them down to then bury them in a shallow grave below the tree. There was no laws here in, in Arizona. Arizona wasn't even a state yet. These deaths were used as example. They said there was no laws in Arizona. Arizona wasn't even a state yet. That's crazy. It was just desert land. To the citizens here to not do what they did. And those 18 deaths specifically were for the high grading, you know, of gold, the stealing of gold. Even though everybody was doing it, you just didn't speak about it publicly or you ended up on the tree, right? They say that there was 18 individuals that lost their life out here for things that they did wrong. If you're around here still, if your spirit is still here, can you come say hello to us? Can you come talk to us through this app? Give us any words. Oh, did you hear that? Literally, there's a tap right over there on the building we're going to go into. Can we just say... Go forward. Where was this app at before? When that man was lost. Now it's telling him to go forward when he's already like in the heart of Vulture City. He's at the hanging tree. There's a house right at the hanging tree. Which I, it baffles me. I don't even know how anybody lived in this tiny little house. I'm like, you stand up all day. That's all you can do is just stand in one spot because it's so small. But yeah, of course he's going to go in that house. Talking about go forward. You should have navigated him when he was lost. Go. The hell? Guys, it just said go forward. All right, I'm going forward. Is there something you want me to see? Whoa. Okay, I don't think this is the actual doctor's office. No, that's somebody. Pretty... That's somebody's house. About the size. That's how big I want my closet to be. Who we'll keep at it? Is there any spirits out here with us? I'm gonna set this down. It was a different time back then. Look, a different time. They built little bitty houses. So they say that they've done. You know that you you wasn't fat living in this house. Different types of things to conjure up spirits out here. If there's any spirits out here, Vernon, are you here with us? Dude, I could not imagine living here back in the day. There's no cops to call. There's no internet. There's no phone to even use. He worried about the wrong thing. There's no. There's no internet. Bro, there's also no space in there. When you wake up to yawn in the morning, up, uh, you hit your freaking hand on a plank of wood. Ow. I think it's tiny. You over here worried about internet. Boy, there was no internet when I was born. Thank you. And you're just stuck out here. If there's somebody coming, you have to defend yourself. There's nobody that's gonna come help you. Maybe you have some friends close by, but if they don't hear you, you're on your own. Vernon, did you die out here? Are you here with us right now? If somebody farted in that room, bro, you're done. Everything you cook in there is... What, what, if, what if the husband cooks something that the wife don't wanna smell or the kids don't wanna smell? It's... They ain't got no choice but to smell it. And that whole place gonna stink up for a while. Like, no, no AC. Bro, that's, that's, that's the part that gets me the worst. I've been in all these buildings, no AC. I'm like, there's no way. There's no way I would die. Literally, I would wake up dead. That makes no sense, but I hope y'all caught it because that was a, that was a good one. For real, I was sitting in there. I was like, bro, there's no way. Where's the AC? I'm, huh? I'm about to pass out. Did you guys see something over there? Nope. It literally sounded like something tried to. I don't think he did either. <laughs> Look, let me let me leave him alone. 
Crush this or push this. Whoa. Whoa what the hell was that? Help us. Who are you? Can you tell me who you are and why you need help? I'll help. Bro, he don't be noticing things that I wish he would notice. Like this is swinging. This is this is swinging. Why is it moving? Look, watch. It's right now. Look. Did you guys see something over there? It literally sounded like I went back too far. Something tried to touch this or push this. Whoa. Look at it. Look at it. Look, it's moving. Look at it. How is it? How do you not see what's right in your face? Help us. Who are you? Can you tell me who you are and why you need help? I'll help you. You need help. Is your name Vernon? Is it more than just Vernon? Is it just Vernon out here? Vernon, were you the doctor? Because I would love to hear your side of the story, brother. All right. What up, Sunrise? We're going to keep going. That is not the doctor's office. And it's definitely not where they had the... Close. Close. Oh, you want me to close the door? Sorry about that. Where should I go now? I think... You, what the frick is out here with us right now? I still can't believe we got two more hours left. You know, if I hear something running toward me, it'll probably be kind of late by the time I can even... We know. Act or react to it. We know. I don't know where the other buildings went to. And now... Yo, you know, <laughs> he said if, if something started running towards him, it would be too late for him to react to it. Probably because he, he gonna try to look and see where it's coming from. <laughs> oh man, oh man, I am horrible. I am, I am horrible. Oh, but y'all still love me. I do. We're about to go. Oh yeah. Check out this old bike right here. That's the way to get around back in the days, right there. Nah, that's not how they got around. They got around the horses and carriages, baby. Be fearful. What am I fe What should I be fearful of? I haven't really used too many of these apps, but this thing has been pretty dead on since I've been using it. What the frick is all this? Oh, is this it? Please tell me we made it to the brothel. This man want to go to the brothel so bad, bro. Them women is dead please please be the brother no no why we're stuck again you you got you ain't push hard enough trapped here. who's trapped here you my guy how don't you see this mannequin standing right in front of the door my that's what's trapped there i can't open that door because there's a mannequin standing right in front of it that you don't see can you let me know? Did you guys hear that? It's literally too quiet out here right now. And this door doesn't open. I should just ram that door, but I don't want to break their door. Can you guys see anything in there? Yes, man. We can see in there. We can see in there clearly. There's a mannequin to the right. There's a dinette table in the middle with dishes on top. That we could how? Oh! Oh! I wish you could see in there as well as we could. That's all I'm saying. Oh God! Look at the freaking spider webs. All right, we're gonna go around. It's gotta be the brothel. It's got. I don't even think he saw the spider webs. He just probably felt them. Gotta be the brothel. That's not the brothel, my guy, but okay. We're just maybe... Sean? Sean, did you like to frequent this place? All right, we found it, finally. I said it a hundred times I found it, and I didn't find it. But I know this is it. Jacob, you ain't saying nothing. We all know he's legally blind. That's why it makes legally no sense for him to be doing this without glasses or something. Come on now. Or a CNI dog or a CNI person. He needs a whole CNI person.
We know he blind. We talked about his blindness many times. Legally and illegally. Oh, hallelujah. It's been a long night. Uh, I think he gonna sleep in this room. We found a brothel. Ladies, if you can hear me. This man, talk to Louie. He, he came for the ghost kitty. James is here. I'm gonna sit down and relax right here if you don't mind. Oh, come on, ladies, come on out. Oh my God. I was joking, but he's serious. He's like, hey, hey, ladies, James is here. Yeah. He about to get that ghost wop put on him. Could you imagine back in the days, people would just come here like that? Guys, I, I don't know how long it's looked for you, but I've literally been exploring here for over an hour and a half, almost two hours now. We finally made it in here. Mexican Rita, are you here with us? I was told to come here if I was wanting to hang out. I told I was always welcome here. I heard you're still on this property. Mexican Rita, she's the one that kind of ran that place with a very stern hand, and she did very well with her, her job there. You'll notice that when you walk in there, she has her own quarters, which are a little bit larger, which actually open up from the main entertainment room that's uh, in the middle of that building. Somebody quoted the meme that went, was famous on the end there for, for years. What did the girl say? I'm legally blind. There's almost people out of there right now. So let's go check out a bedroom. Got a cool piano over here. Oh, dude, that legit sound like somebody was back there right now. Yeah. I, I guess this dude, they realizing the fact that he's walking on freaking old wood floors. He hear creaks behind him and it's his own creak. He did it. He did it. Is there somebody back there? I don't think so. Hey, y'all, who had tacos on Taco Tuesday? Raise your hand. I had the birria tacos, too. The queso birria. Ooh. Birria. Birria. Oh, I don't even want to go any further. Jesus. Bro, Howard, are you serious? If this, this man is 89% blind, then he 100% not need, needs not to be doing this because... To be 89% blind, you you ain't no good, nobody. You can't see nothing. This man had a whole swinging freaking lamp thing dangling in a lantern dangling in front in front of his face. Didn't even see it. He walked into a building where the light was on. He didn't even know the light was on. He was like, oh, wait, the light is on. Same time, door was creaking open big right beside him. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on. But he don't see it all. Alright, I got so many different ones over there. Yes, yes, Gemini Queen. They were good, huh? Hey, in a minute, this man's legs is about to deteriorate. I'm, I'm blaming it on low compression rate. I don't know what camera it was, but his legs gonna disappear. I'm gonna ask the spirits, where do they want me to go? Right, how many of these guys got this little $3,500 recorder that's about the size of a credit card? I heard a huge thump in one of these. Did you want me to go in that room that you made that noise in? We are taking this with us. I'm recording right now. I'm Is hot. There a room in this hallway. I'm hot. I feel like I'm in Vulture City right now. Ugh. You would like me to go into... Is it that room that I'm pointing at right now? I just felt a cold breeze touch my arm. Do you want me in this room? We won't know until you play the audio back. Let's hear it. Playing that back now. Huge cold breeze just literally touched my arm. Almost as if like someone wanted to hold it. Assuming it could have been a kid. Is there a room in this hallway you would like me to go into? I'm hearing so much. 
but nothing at the same time because it didn't hit. It didn't say nothing. That's not right. We wanted a definitive answer because he's trying to get some directions from this ghost. And I can't make it out. Maybe we'll go into the one where the kid's in. Kid's room would be this one. Because something happened over here. It's weird because this has a sticker on it. And apparently, this is the room it told me to go into. There are, like, things down there. Like toy cars. And I'm going to set up my whole room inside this room. Because I think maybe... You know, a hospital, any room could be haunted, but what if this hospital has a lot of unique things to it? Every room has a story. Someone probably died in every room here. It's a pretty old hospital. All right, we are shutting off the light, and we are going right into this session with the uh, spare box. I've been getting a lot of cool stuff, like the tripod, the REM pod that just went off, the thumb. We're being followed. Come back for me! Hey! Are you guys following me in this room? There's a lot of men. Are you upset that I'm here? I'm not. No? Thank you. I'm just trying to talk to you guys. Hit that like button for your boy again. We're trying to get 500 likes by the middle of this live stream. By the middle. We're not we're not halfway there yet. But I still need 500 likes by the, by the middle of the live. I mean, no harm. Is there another room in this hallway you want me to go into? Are you trying to protect me from going upstairs? Who's upstairs? John the something. John the logger? Is there a John upstairs? I know there's a Betsy upstairs. How did Betsy die? I thought it said heart attack. Maybe not though. 85 it said? Did she die at 85? Dementia. I just heard dementia. No, that's Nelly. How many of you are here right now? <laughs> I had too much, or it said too much. What is this in my hand? There. Someone's there. It just yeah. said. <laughs> what is this? It's a lollipop, pop. Lally, lally, pop, pop. A popsicle. It's That's not a popsicle. It said, not a popsicle. It's a pop, though. It said pop. That's, that is crazy for that thing to say popsicle, though. I'm going to leave this room now. I'm going to head to the cafeteria. You guys want to come? I'm going to go get some food. You guys want food? I do. Wait, I just ate not too long ago. Never mind. Bad people problems. I heard help me. Did somebody say what kind of house is this? This ain't a house. I think this is a hospital. You need help? Yes. Are you okay if I leave? Are you okay if I leave? All right, we're gonna wrap up this room. Head to the cafeteria. Now, the cool thing about the cafeteria is it hasn't been explored in the last seven years and it only just opened. I think there could be a lot of activity there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Wait, you know, wait, wait. Did they have to do something to the cafeteria before it was safe to open it again? Like, how is it? Wait, that makes no sense. Why hasn't it been explored in seven years? Maybe that is the case. Shout out to everybody watching us on Twitch yet again. Well, the stream is crispy. They forgot where the cafeteria is, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know where to go. He said he forgot where the cafeteria is. All right, cafeteria's over here. It says dining purchasing. Oh, well, we're gonna get something here, I know it. Hasn't been active in a long time, probably because they had to remove a lot of asbestos. That's my guess, at least. Oh. 
Why would they go in here and move asbestos? Unless this place is a tourist attraction. I don't know, man. A little freaked out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set some stuff up in this room. I think this room is awesome. There's tables here. This is where they would literally line up, get the food, kind of sit down right here. I think this is a cool place. And remember, like I just said earlier, no one's been in this room in over seven years. So there's gotta be activity here. But my guess is, I just know the biggest whiff of vanilla. That was crazy. Like it went like a, a vanilla cupcake. Um, I kid you not. That's dope, actually. You're making me, you know, want a little snack and snack. I still smell it. Now it's over here. It just went right in my face and just moved. That was awesome. That was awesome. Let's set some stuff up here. Now, most patients would be coming from this way, just so you guys know. Well, this side is where the patients would come into, and the other side is the kitchen where the workers would work. So I feel like if I put a music box here, I walk. Yes, exactly what we want. Cameras are kind of set. All right, you're more than happy to come hang out with me. I don't want to eat alone. I have some devices on this table, red blinking lights, blue lights, balls you can touch if you walk in front of me right here. I'll know that you're here. I would love to talk to you. Let's give the DR60 a lovely try. Calling everyone here who's ever hungry, please step up. Dinner is ready. If you guys are hungry, please come here. I can serve you guys food. Look, I wish he would stop talking about food. I'm not even hungry. I just want something tasty. Give me any sign if someone's here in the cafeteria with me. I do have leftover Chinese from yesterday, though. I'm going to mess up after this live stream. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Are you going to be upset if I don't share my food? What do you want me to make you? What are you hungry for? Stop lying to these ghosts. You can't make them nothing. You have nothing to make anything with. Let's see what we got here. You going to make some ghost spaghetti? It said hey or me, right? Yes, I am. I don't know what that said back. It, it said some type of food and I couldn't really hear it. Let's try another one. I have a good idea. This always works. Heard footsteps inside there. That's where they make the food. I couldn't make out what you're hungry for. I know you said something to me. I will cook you something. I can't hear you, but if you talk into this right here, I can make out what you want to eat. What do you want to eat again? What's your name? All right. Let's play this bad boy back. Fries or hamburger? Hang on, dude. They're clearly talking. But they're not clearly talking because you can't clearly make out what he said. I can't make it out. Then I guess burger. It's so weird. I usually get some really good answers, really good response here, and they're clearly saying stuff, but I can't make them out fully. It's really weird. I'm not getting too much, but they're they're talking. You guys can hear them. Somebody in the chat says he like a young Seth Rogen. He look like a slim young Seth Rogen in a way. I bet nobody's ever told him he looked like Seth Rogen before. Maybe it's upstairs they really want me to go. Is that it? Give me a sign if you want me to go upstairs. Nah, man, that dude wanted his burger. Well, I'm going to head to the second floor now. 
Your last chance to say something on the first floor to me. Oh, you're going to piss him off because he's like, man, you just asked me what I wanted to eat. And I told you what I wanted a burger. Where my burger? You ain't making no burger. Now you about to go to the second floor without making me a burger? I knew you were full of crap. <gasps> it just went off. Because he wanted his burger. Holy f Someone just walked right here. That you already seen it hasn't been off this whole... He, he placed an order for a burger and fries, and that's why he walked in there. All time until the last chance when I turned my back to pack up. All right, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt right now and ask them a question. You know, you, you sense me. Is this a warning? What do you want? Burger and fries. Am I going to be okay going upstairs? Not if you don't give me my burger and fries that you promised me. What's your name? It, Look, my, my name don't matter. Burger and fries. All right, we're going to play this back. Last one. What do you want? Am I going to be okay going upstairs? What's your name? I think the ghost let me do the talking. I don't understand. They're talking and I can't make nothing out. We're gonna go upstairs and see if the energy's stronger. It's like they're not strong enough to talk to us here. So right now we are just on the first floor. Now the first floor had a lot of things kind of happen, but more subtle, it seems that it was always gonna be that way because not many deaths happened here. It's mostly kids playing in the patient's room. There's not too much things going on. So I doubt some, you know, dark energy or ghost is gonna really want to talk to us on this floor. Most of the issues in dark energy and everything is actually on the second floor and possibly what's even stronger is on the third floor. What happened in Jim's room? I put the camera on the tripod, I placed it down on the desk and I turned my back to go do something and the tripod and the camera got pushed over. It seemed like they didn't want me there and they got annoyed of me asking for Jim. And we had some cool things happen. We had some EVPs, but a lot of even the EVPs. All right, all right. They keep talking about tripods being pushed over. I want to show y'all an example of something. Oh, but I have to find it. Darn it. I don't have what I'm looking for. Ugh. Darn it. I don't have a spare tripod around. We're like, it's like they weren't strong enough. We're getting a lot of disembodied voices. We're hearing stuff, but at the same time, we can't make out what's actually happening or what they're saying. So far, being alone is really scary and it's really pushing me out of my element. But because I'm not getting screamed at or getting told, get out of here, or, or too much, besides the tripod freaking me out, I'm pretty calm for the most part. If I ask leave right now while I'm alone and it said leave, well, that's gonna freak me out and I'm gonna wanna leave. So I'm not asking those questions just in case, because it is scary by yourself here. Ah, just Guys, my we are now heading up to the second floor. Is where all. Hey, y'all. Uh, we had 346 on the likes with 560 live viewers. We're trying to get more people in here. See if we can reach that 1,000 live viewer threshold by the end of the night. But it's only going to work if y'all keep hitting that like button. That lets YouTube know that y'all are enjoying the show and they're going to push it out to more people. So keep running up that like button for your boy. Let's see if we can get 500 likes by the middle of this live stream. The scary stuff is that goes Betty, that goes Buddy, that goes to Shadow Hallway, that goes to freaking Morgue, the the body box. Who calls it the body box? I'm by myself, I'm going up there right now. That's probably where everything's gonna be active. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we got an hour and forty-five minutes left, but really gonna be here another two hours. No, my God, it's really quiet up here, really quiet. Starting off right here, we get a lot of activity up here, most likely, because right here, this is where Betty died, right in here, one of these two rooms. 
There was a nurse that actually passed away in the restroom. She had a cardiac arrest. They couldn't find her. Um, then they discovered that they couldn't open up the bathroom door and she was leaning on that door. It took about two hours to get her out because of how she was positioned when she passed away. So it wasn't locked, but it's because her weight was on the door? Yes. Dang, that's awful. We're gonna try to contact Betty really quick in this area. There's a lot of different things or people we can probably talk to that might not even be Betty. There's a lot of things I can sit up here because this place is so massive. That's what scares me the most though. Karen West, long time no see. Thank you for the live stream, big bird. I'm gonna put something by Betty's door. Okay. I'm gonna have things scattered here. I think that's the plan. So I'll put this on there. The EMF meter, keep that here as well. I heard voices. I heard legit voices, like a conversation down in there. You hear that? It's coming from... I'm hearing footsteps right over here. That's so crazy, because, like, whenever he says, I hear something, you hear him, you, you notice that he goes mute for a moment so that he can listen in. But what they also do for us viewers is they crank up the audio so that we can better get a hearing of his surroundings so that we can hear some of the same things that he is. But I, I'm not hearing anything. I don't know. I mean, I'm going crazy. Maybe. We're going to try this right here. Hello, everyone on the second floor. My name is Josh. I mean, no harm. I'm just trying to talk to you. I know that there's someone named Betty up here. If there's anyone here, can you make yourself known for me? No, don't do it. Maybe give me a knock back. No. All right, Oof. I'm gonna drop this down over here. See what happens. If there's anyone here with us, I have a device that I'm pointing at right now. Good, uh, good evening, Taz. It will allow you to talk to me. Is Betty here with us right now? Who's the person that knocked my camera down on the desk? In Heather is a trooper on the phone holding her dog and typing with one hand. What? Multitasker. Jim's room. I'm gonna play this back now. Same thing as all the other rooms. Mumbling, different things, I can't make it out. They're not strong enough to talk to us here, which is really odd to me. I never had things like that happen. Do you not want me here? Is there a room here you want me to go into? Just got a huge cold breeze right here. Massive. God, these hallways are so long and dark. All right. So right now we're kind of just playing the listening game, seeing what we can get here. If there's someone that wants to speak to us. Now, there's still the shadow hallway I would need to go to and Buddy's room. The emergency room has the body bags and that's, that's scary. But we're gonna head in there. I think that's what we're gonna go to next. We're gonna pack up. It's scary, man. By yourself is so scary. It doesn't even matter that nothing's going off right now. It's just genuinely freaking me out. A good thing to do also, guys, is to, again, examine behind me, examine the shadows, examine everything you can see in my video, because I could be missing things. People could be saying, well, ghosts could be saying things to me, and I'm just not making out what they're saying. So I think it's down here. I forgot where it is. I think it's this way. I just went into a whole circle. Literally, I just went into a whole circle. All right. Heading down some of the patients' rooms and labs. Just gonna do a quick noise check. Sometimes, dude, some of the best ways to capture evidence 
is to just listen and ask questions without anything happening around you. I'm making my way right now down to Buddy's area and where the bodies were placed. Is that gonna be okay? Not sure if you guys heard it, but I heard noises all the way down there. Little tap. Again, I'm hearing a lot of taps throughout this entire investigation though. And it's really weird. I don't know if I have like a really good aura around me today or something. Besides the camera coming down, the REM pod, some talking, nothing's going too, too, too crazy is what I'm saying. This is scary as fuck. I'm going on the big light right now, looking out. And look at this hallway. This is where we did our interview. Go down here though. Just freaked out. Just listening. We're at the emergency room now. A lot of tragic accidents. Think about it. How many sick people, how many hurt people have came through into the emergency room? So that's Buddy's room. Where apparently he died. Nope, that's freaky. I wouldn't go down through that hall. And maybe he'll kick the ball again. Oh, heck no. Nah. Because before we did the investigation, he literally kicked this ball. And it was pretty badass. Whew. It is really nerve-wracking being here, though. Like, you guys have to seriously put yourselves in my shoes here and be alone. If nope. nothing happens, the courage to even walk in here by yourself, knowing these stories about what happened here and then having some things already happen to you. You gotta have some big balls. That's all I'm gonna say. I'll be just straight up to the point and honest with you. You could be like, I don't, mine's a tiny, microscopic. Oh, I could do it. But honestly, I, I'd love to see others do it. Generally would, EMF meter, I'm gonna keep it on the bed. I'm actually gonna put, not the REM pod on the bed. I'm gonna put cat balls on the bed. I'm gonna set up another side camera REM pod as well. Honestly, right here's fine. All right. I just set that down and it's already detecting someone right now. Step as if someone's standing right there. I know, but step back. Maybe, maybe it's you. Step back some, step back. Let's just make sure. Watching me. Can you get closer to it? John Miller, I think I think I could be wrong, but I think this place might be a tourist attraction too, which is why it would make sense for them to leave stuff, you know, to kind of paint the image, you know, for the tourists. I could be wrong though. Can you touch the red light? Okay. This is getting interesting. Am I getting surrounded right now? I like her nails. What do I do? She pushed her downstairs. This is her room. Right here. Is it focusing on something back there? Liam. Liam. What? That scared me so bad. Who's Liam? Can you explain to me a little bit more about Liam? Is Liam a little boy? Or why does that name seem familiar? Maybe there's something around the house that has to do with a Liam. I'm not getting too much. Helen, are you still here with us right now? I feel like I should move the REM pod in the room. Baby. Baby? What? Baby? Maybe she had a baby named Liam? Oh God, why did that literally scare me? I knew it was gonna do that. I'm so scared right now. 
Helen, I'm gonna put this device in your room right here if you'd like to touch it to make it go off. You're okay here. You're okay here? I'm okay here? Thank you for letting me know. I will put it in there. I just wanted to know why she got pushed outside. Oh, that scared me so badly. She I hope back. you're being honest with me, Helen, that I am okay. I'm gonna just stick this right here in the room that you stayed in. Helen, if you... What did that say? Altar. Altar? What's an altar? Is that the altar? Whoa, I literally just heard something in there. What was that? I swear that I literally keep feeling like there's something on the stairs. And that altar is like literally the stairs. The one area I'm like, I don't feel like I should be going on. It did say I'm okay here. I just want to know that you're draining. Are you draining one of the devices, the batteries, my phone? draining what could that mean is this draining to you are you using a lot of your energy to communicate with me if you can use any of your energy to make that go off please do so those are the words right now truly and baby you're okay here that one definitely startled me alter draining dorothy 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 who's dorothy who are these people? Do I remind you of someone named Dorothy? Or am I talking to someone named Dorothy? Did one of these objects in this home belong to you? I know a lot of the belongings here were donated from other people. I know it looks very bright in here, but it is dark. Here's the kitchen. We haven't gone in here yet. Look at all of this old stuff. 18. It just went off. What did that say? 18. I'm not 18. Maybe Dorothy, maybe someone you know was 18. What is this? Oh, there's a doggy. That's the dog that was apparently pushed, I guess. Who's Dorothy? Who's 18? Do I remind you of them? We're just going to investigate the house. Look at how old all this stuff is. It's very vintage. Close. 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 I literally said, do I remind you of someone named Dorothy who's 18? And they said, close. Do you know someone named Dorothy? It feels positive now. And I hope so. And it did say that I'm safe here. So I think I'm going to try to go upstairs. I was so close from tapping out. So close. But I'm sticking through this. Celebrate. Celebrate. Hey! Celebrate. Good times, I'm not tapping out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's look around in the kitchen a little bit more. She might go up there and tap all the way out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something literally just touched me. I hope no one's messing with me right now. This is what I was talking about, what was in the sink. Man, I swear I keep hearing things. Hopefully you hear something that's making me tap out. You're protecting me? Who is this? Who literally is this? I'm literally shaking. I'm literally shaking. Who is this? I have goosebumps my whole body. I literally am like, this is crazy. This is so, I'm so scared right now. I don't want to go upstairs. I don't want to go upstairs. Someone said they're protecting me. Oh my God, I feel like I can't do this. I literally feel like I can't do this. I told you. Do I ask one more time? These stairs, you guys, they are, it's like three flights of stairs. It's not something to be messed with. Three flights of stairs? I do four every day, coming and going in and out of my house. But uh, if you chicken, just say that. I mean... Can I help? What do you need help with? What can I help you with? If you tell me what I can help you with, I can try my best. Helen, is this you? Am I dead? Am I dead? Uh, fuck. Yes. You are. Whoever I'm talking to, I can't see you. 
All I can do is hear you through this app. I try to communicate with people who were once living. Is your name Dorothy? Were you 18? I'm over here. <gasps> Where are you at, Dorothy? That might not be Dorothy. I'm gonna forget. This is crazy. That might not be Dorothy. I'm Dorothy, where are you at? I'm over here. Investigate. Investigate. Don't do it. It might not be Dorothy. That's that's D Dorothy. Huh? I hope this isn't a trick. Okay. Protect. Look, it keeps saying protect. I'm I'm standing over by the stairs right now. I'm like contemplating do I go up the stairs? Do I not go up the stairs? She keeps saying protect. Dorothy, are you protecting me right now? And you want me to go up the stairs to talk to you? Do you see how intense it is to go all the way up there? It's very like narrow, it's very steep. Like if you were to fall down these stairs. 1940s. 1940s? Are you from the 1940s, Dorothy? I feel like one of the objects in this house or something in this house belonged to her. Dorothy? We're coming up here. I'm not. All right, Helen, we're coming up. I ain't going Everybody up there. in the house. We're coming up the stairs. I need to get paid to go up the stairs. I could hit my head. That's how narrow this is. Every step I take feels like the floor might give out. All right. Made it up the stairs. Wow, this is crazy. It even goes up higher. There's a whole family tree. Oh Dorothy. my god! Dorothy! That's that's her! Oh my god! 1903 to 1976. She lived a good not, 73 years. Nice. Okay, Dorothy. Look, I'm gonna grab some water, y'all. Be right back. I need Wilder. Dorothy. Wilder. Dorothy, that's literally who I was talking to. Literally. Oh no, we're about to say hey, he's about to tap out because something made his stomach hurt. Yeah, I think he faked it. Let's find out. Hello? I need a Water, please. Water? Walk straight in. I'm somewhere down this hall. Please. Okay, yeah, we're coming. Oh. What's wrong with you? I don't know. You need the water. Ah. Hey. Yo. You okay? No. No. What happened? Where are you? Oh, God. What happened? Please help me. What happened? I don't know. Come here. Sit up. Please help me up. Help you up? Are you hurt? No, I don't know. Oh, stomach, bro. Ah, oh, oh, oh! Stop, stop! What happened, bro? Did you fall or something? No. Oh, What's wrong with your stomach? Is that your stomach hurts? I feel like I got stabbed, dude. Stabbed? Sort of. Sort of. Stabbed. Where were you at that you felt that? I was in the chair. My whole head is pounding. Oh my f dude. Did something like attack you, you think? I feel like something's all around me. Oh, come on. Let's, let's get him outside. Come on. You sure you want to stay inside? No, we're taking him outside. Let's go outside. You're like really freaking me out. Come on. Oh man. I want you all to see what this shit said. Just, I don't know if it's from in there or what, but something cold just like went by. Oh, why are we still Because I don't know. Y'all are still out. standing here. Hold on. Come on. CJ, you, you really want to leave? 
Let's just stay outside. Let's give him a yeah, break. Just give him Come a break. I, I want to. I want to. I want to talk. I, I think it wants us here. I got my. It says join us. Bro. No, I ain't joining. Bro. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're Omar's wife. You're an almost right. Hey, 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 after what happened to the old boy right here, she had to walk in on this man, bring him some water, help him up. And he's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think it wants us here. And then immediately it says, join us. She's like, join us? I ain't joining shit. <laughs> yo, yo, this is the best. This is the best thing yet. I got this is the best. I want you all to see what this shit said. Just, I don't know if it's from in there or what, but something cold just like went by. Why are we still because here? I don't know, y'all are still standing here. Hold on, on CJ. CJ, you, you really want to leave? Let's just stay outside. Let's give him a yeah, break. Just give him a break. I, I want to. I want to talk. I, I think it wants us here. I got my. It says join, join us. us, bro. No, I ain't joining, shit. bro. Uh, mm -mm. It said listen carefully, and I, I, I swear to, f I'm sitting right here. It said, listen carefully. So I'm, I'm listening to what it's saying. And then I, I kind of, I, I don't know what happened, but it, I've never been stabbed. Somebody took a knife and went straight in my stomach. So I went, I keeled over and I'm like, damn, I, I did not know what I felt. And I was like, okay, I've had my appendix rupture before. I don't have one. It can't, it can't rupture again. So now I'm like, okay, this is weird. And I'm taking the pain. I'm taking the pain. I'm taking the pain. It went away like someone pulled a knife out of me and came back and stabbed me again. That's when I fall to the ground and it says dirty. I'm presuming the ground's dirty. And then Nicola, and then when it said demon here. Right here, I, all I was trying to do is just get comfortable. It's like I'm like I'm trying to stand up, I'm trying to do something, and I'm like walk away. I'm like no, it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> what the? Fuck? I don't remember saying that, bro. You don't remember? You don't, I know. Wait, you I don't... swear to. Fuck, I do not remember saying that. I don't know what the fuck that was. I have never in my entire life felt that way ever. Woo! Ever, ever. And it was one minute I was. Yo, this is crazy. Completely fine. The next second. Take a knife, stab me right in the stomach. I just, I don't, I just don't understand that. What is your thought process on going back in? No. I want to go back in, yeah. Are you serious? I'm trying to reason and try to figure out why exactly. He's like, oh yeah, oh yeah. He's like, I love this type of stuff. Send me back in there, send me back. He ain't no chicken. Exactly. I this man felt like he got stizzabbed twice. And still want to go back in. Let that have been any of the other folks we've been watching. They'd be like, no, I'm got. Help me. Come get me. Come get me. Something doing something to me. It's attacking my, 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 I'm getting stabbed. Help me. Come get me. Hell yeah. That would have been everybody else. But not him. He's a trooper. I have the pain in my stomach that I did. So I was thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, was it something I ate? Was it, you know, gas? Like, what could it have been? But for that sharp of a pain to have occurred, I don't really know. Talk with Omar. Talk with Tiffany. With Gene. I think this is something that was trying to literally attach itself to me. That's our synopsis of it. Hey, Brown and Press said he ain't getting in the car with me. I know that's right. I'm like, sorry, dude. You're going to have to catch you an Uber. Any spirits here, I just want to invite you to come and talk to us, join us. I don't care if you're good, if you're evil, it doesn't matter at this point. But what I do want to do is welcome you, invite you. So I heard there was uh, a couple of incidents with some nuns. And I heard that there is uh, some rumors about, unfortunately, uh, kids not being born. Record. Record, okay. I'm recording, yes. What, what in particular do you want me to record? It's beautiful here. All right, it's beautiful here. That's probably uh, contrary to popular belief because this place looks like shit. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it was beautiful back then, but right now it's in shambles. What happened to me downstairs? That's what I really want to know. That's the elephant in the room. 
Why don't why don't answer? Why don't answer? It answer everything else. But when he says what happened to me, it's dead silence. The holy shit. Something just turned the fuck camera off over here. Something literally just turned this little camera off. Oh my gosh. Oh! Hello? Okay, just said intelligent. Oh no f***ing way, just said intelligent right after it turned off the camera. I'm not sure if the camera was recording or wasn't recording, but either way, it shut itself off. I felt uneasy up there, and I thought, all right, I gotta keep going, gotta keep pressing. I know you're intelligent, and thank you for that. I'm gonna put this down. Apparently, you don't want that recording. Can you come and turn off this camera right here as well, if you're that intelligent? Of course. It just said, of course. Turn that camera off, then. If you can turn that off, I'll be so impressed. Hello? You're being followed. Woo! Oh, f See, nah, he crazy for going back in there. This place right here? I would never. Tell me something else. Who was the shadow that I saw right here when I was in this room? Hi. Hi. Holy sh! Okay. All right. Real funny. Ow! Okay. That, never mind. That was me. Sure. I knew it. He scared himself. I feel like I was getting some good activity over here. What's? Is there anybody over here? I always, I always heard that if you stare into a mirror, it wasn't very good. I'm gonna ask you a funny question now. Do you think I look good? Am I cute enough to date a nun? All right, my camera's still recording. I thought you said you- Bro, after watching the nun, the last thing I want to play with is some nuns. Shit. You're intelligent enough to turn that thing off. Can you tell me something else? I'm looking in the mirror. I'm trying to- I wouldn't look in this mirror. Do you see what's on it? Make sure that my phone is still working correctly. And it's not? What happened? That's so bad that you decided to do what you did to me downstairs because I feel like that. Bro, why does it look so horrible? Presence is still around me right now. Oh, I got one of these small. Hey, I gotta remember. Wait. I feel like I don't know where some of my camera gear is. Little boy. Little boy. Okay. All right. Oh, sh! I just remembered this. That girl that came here alone that one time said that she saw a nun on the second floor with a little boy. There was a girl that came and investigated a couple years back, and she was upstairs in one of the hallways. She saw what she could explain to be a nun holding a little boy's hand walking down the hallway. Now, of course, she was freaked out, and I can tell you all right now, if I see that, I'm probably going to run the f out of here. The fact that I just got little boy to come through on the spirit box right there, that's impressive. I still feel very, very vulnerable upstairs. Downstairs in that one particular area, I, I want to avoid at all costs, to be honest with you. But I have to walk through that area in order to get to the chapel. If anybody wants to communicate, now you're going to be your chance. I understand the chapel is a little bit of a sensitive. I had this camera bag. Maybe it's over here somewhere. I had this camera bag that I had I haven't seen in a while that has camera gear in it. And I had this little light. I need that light. I need that light. I'm a ghost hunter. Area, and I mean the utmost respect while I'm in here. But what I really, really, really want you to do is answer some questions for me. These are gonna be very unconventional questions, very direct and to the point. This is not your run of the mill spirit box session. This is not your run of the mill ghost hunter that comes in here poking and prodding and wanting answers. This is me, I'm gonna ask some heavy hitting questions as if you're being interrogated. I don't know what's back here, so we're just gonna go explore real quick. Okay, cool, nice table and chair and... Hello? Is there somebody back there? We are back. Is the bedroom back here? 
Back to Vulture City. You know, I don't recommend going off and doing things alone because I think... I don't either. When you're legally blind. It's got bad and you were alone. And there's nobody to help you. Just like living back here in those days. There's nothing you could do if someone wanted to come in and rob you of your gold. Natalie. Natalie, are you the one that used to be in here? Are you with us right now, Natalie? I'd love to talk to you. Dude, they've really done a really good job restoring this place. It literally gives off that vibe, what it might be like being back here back then. Hello, ladies. We'd love to talk to you. I guess we can't go in this room. What's special about this room? Concerned. Concerned. What are you concerned about? I'll help you if you need help. But I want you to know you don't need to be worried or afraid of me. You don't have to worry. I'm here to help you. I know it sounds weird because you don't get too many people out here, do you? It's probably not too many visitors at all. But if there's anything you want to tell me or show me. R-A-F. Whoa. What did this even say? R-A-F. It says R-A-F. I just started smelling like a really sweet smell in the air. Is that you? Mm. No. So I guess the women had different rooms. This might have been their kitchen area. And they had at least two rooms set up. So Rita was busy. She'd had at least a couple girls working out here. So one over there, one over there. And could you guys guess who is the number one client out here? Jeff. Jeff. Jeff, are you the number one client out here? I guess Jeff is the number one client. Unfortunately, I can't, I don't know the actual name of the doctor, but he was a big frequent visitor here, that's for sure. And what I don't like is the stories about all the abortions because he had got the girls pregnant here. I would imagine over the years there were several girls. He would just get rid of their fetuses and just throw them away. Pretty sad if you think about it, going back to those days it, was, it must have been rough raising a kid, you know? There wasn't a lot of a lot of help like you have day to day. But if you were in this type of business, you couldn't be having kids running around. Genevieve. Genevieve. Did you work here, Genevieve? I think Genevieve did. Is it, holy sh**. What the hell? Who was just in here with us? Who just did that? Can you show yourself? Breath. Breath? Guys, make sure you are listening with some headphones on right now. You can definitely pay attention to things because it's very easy for me to miss them. One difference between me and a lot of other people that do this is I can't see really what I'm looking at. The only difference between him and other people that do this is he can't see what he's looking at. You can't make this stuff up. For the most part, and they can. So a lot of times I'll miss different apparitions, different things that you guys can catch in this video. Okay, we're gonna go next door to the doctor's office now. Dude, that is so strange. It literally smells like a sweet, like a sweet perfume. And it was right when I got right over to here. Yet. Dude, I'm not feeling this. We're gonna go check out the doctor's office now. It's not gonna be that door. Of course, it's never gonna be that easy for us. But here is the doctor's. Have you ever felt the presence of an evil doctor here? You definitely get the presence of a very masculine figure. If you spend enough time in there, you're gonna, you're gonna experience it too, I guarantee you. I actually caught myself a photograph of what appears to be a man that we believe to be the doctor standing behind a woman that's literally reaching out to me from the door. That was my first visit, first 15 minutes at Vulture City, and my first set of five photographs that I took. This place kinda, it does something to you, and after being here one time, you wanna come here again, and it just does weird things to people like it's doing to that light right now. That has has not done that one time. That's that's crazy. What's up, Doc? All right, that was me. Picture yourself being back here, just back in those days. There's nothing out here with you. There's nobody out here. It's just quiet. I guess you're taking care of the women out here. You got your desk set up with all your stuff that you would need for around the year, around the season. You know, whatever you need to take care of the ladies that were over there, they have all this different 
cool medicine that they could use. It's just like an off feeling in here. Stacy. Stacy. What happened to you here, Stacy? Set this down right here and um we're gonna go see what we can find out what the doctor has to say. Hey doc, if you're here, we'd like to talk to you. That's where he spent his nights just sleeping throughout the year. Could you imagine? Like if you got all the different years that it's gonna be super hot in the summer. Your winters are probably super hot, but it gets really cold at nighttime, as hot as it does in the day in Arizona. I don't know, if it was me back in the day, I think I'd be doing most of my stuff at night and sleeping during the day, but that's just personally me. Whoa, what the f was that? Standing behind you. Dude, no way. Please do not touch me. I feel your presence here with me right now. I literally did, it just came right from behind me on the floor. I don't even know what that is. I'm literally standing still right here. And one of these was, it was like it fell off the table, these little pumpkins. Or maybe you kicked one. They are a bunch of them just on the floor. Is it okay that I'm here? Are you mad that I didn't like how you treated some of the women back here? I mean, think about it. You're a single man. You don't have a wife if you're out here. You're the doctor, I guess. You have your operating table here. What does it say first? Hers. What was hers? You know, it kind of makes me wonder. He might have actually had different girls here that he would take care of, maybe be the father of even, but it makes me wonder if they had just that one particular girl that was more of his everyday girl he cheated on maybe, that's even possible. I would imagine the days back then, the doctors, they probably held a lot of value in, t in these towns. And I guess he gets some freebies, right? I mean, he's right now. <laughs> Warhammer is saying something I was literally thinking about. I'm like, the man just talking. He just making up stuff. He don't know what the heck he's talking about. Next door, he takes care of them. And uh, I hope you treated them well. I hope they liked you. Just, I think he just said kill. Who wanted to kill? You. Did you want to kill the doctor? Or was the doctor nice to you guys? All right, guys, we're gonna get out of the doctor's office and go check out the next area. Six more likes and we'll be at our goal of 500 likes in the middle of the live stream. We're almost in the middle of the live stream too. Hit that like button for you, boy, I appreciate it. surrounded right now man i wonder just like how blind he is like i want an example to see how his blindness looks like i saw a video on like tiktok or something where they were showing how different types of blindnesses look so you can see what their blindness looks like i'm like dang sucks the rem pod just went off on the side of me the other one Oh my god. No. I'm literally cornered. That REM pod just went off. This one's still going off. Someone's standing right there. Dude. I don't know even know where to stand. Okay. Alright. Oh. Sushi for on Twitch said I was here at this place. Oh, I remember. I remember. I I know um, that place very well, mm. and I was able to see it too. All right, this is what we're gonna do to change things up. I have an app called. Hey Jennifer, you're wrong. Jennifer said when you're blind, other senses are heightened, but not for that guy. I was the mess. I don't know. Yeah, he need to, his other senses need to kick in real quick. You're a talker. I usually don't use apps, but I will tell you right now, I strongly believe in Spirit Talker. And we're going to see what's going on. So this is a really good app. And what it does is the Spirit Talker is like an ovulus. 
a word bank and has a thousand different words in it and it talks to and says whatever this thing will hear. Whatever it detects, whatever it's the ghost apparently said, it pops up right here on Spirit Talker. I'm telling you, a lot of times, this is usually scarily accurate. Right now, as I ask, what? Hang on, I gotta move this one more. Or maybe on the side here. Okay, that's not even me. I don't know what's what anymore. Okay. This was spiking a little bit orange. So I'm gonna keep this on me now at all times. I'm just gonna stay here. Don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna pray. Is there a spirit or someone named Buddy here? I have a device on the ground that blinks, which you used already. I know there's someone over here. You can be anywhere over here, and it's going to go off. Evelyn, I feel the same way, but hey. Whew. I worked here, okay? You worked here. Thank you guys for the 545 likes now. We're at 700 live viewers. Those like buttons, they get those viewer counts up as well. So if you don't mind, let's keep hitting that like button. We're almost at the halfway point. I think we could probably push to a thousand likes by the end of this live stream. Keep running them up if you can. I appreciate it. Tell you it's that spirit that's literally that was right there. Skylar. Howdy. What's your name? I'm looking for someone named Buddy as well. But if you worked here, that can help me too. Buddy Are you Dr. Taylor? Can you give me a sign? Buddy ain't I have a run pot over there. I have a ball in the middle. You can tap the ball and make it move. Or you can come close to me. Buddy ain't your buddy, buddy. And the lights would go. I don't know if that's me or not. It just says, I'm happy. Are you happy because the toys that are because I'm happy here? Or are you happy because you worked here and things are okay with you? Or are you happy that you're there and he's going to haunt you? It's happy because you're there so it can haunt you. I might want to go into called the body box. The morgue. Where they stored the bodies. Is that going to be okay? Yo, did that book? Caroline just says her her kitten, her cat just came from behind the couch and she hear kittens. That they just went back there and laid a bunch of kittens. I mean, not laid, but birth. All move? Was the ball right there? Or did was it not there? Now I'm tripping out. Christine. Christine. Oh, Chris. That. The whole freaking thing just moved. The cat ball. The cat ball just went off when it just said Christine. It's still going off. Christine. Is that you? Is it. Wait a minute, Caroline. I can't look. My mind. Now I'm stuck on this cat thing. Did you know that your cat was pregnant? <laughs> Gonna be okay. I respect you, Christine, and... Hey, hey, Shadante, I thought that same thing. I wouldn't even go say nothing. Dang, you caught it. And the cap went off. Thank you for respecting me. I'm just here to talk. I'm not here to start a fight. I'm by myself, so I'm a little scared. Is the story about Buddy true? Is there someone named Buddy here? Can you give me a sign? Hey, even though I'm talking in the, in the present tense, for those of you who are watching the live stream after the live stream you can watch it with the chat playing so when i communicate with certain things that are being said in the chat and you don't know what i'm responding to you can play the chat as the video is playing so you can see what i'm talking about you know what i'm gonna do i think christine is literally on the y'all are y'all wrong man people keep talking about this dude be scaring himself <laughs> y'all say he's he, he, he scared himself more than the ghosts do. Then, assuming, I'm gonna try to talk to her again. Funny how the REM pod's not going off, and it was going off even when I was far away. So things are making sense and it's becoming more intelligent for me nah. with everything going on, especially with that spirit that was right there. I'm gonna try this out. Is Christine here? I can't even, I can't even help myself. Shadante was like, he just said he don't believe in the app, and then he said the app be accurate every time. Who's on this bed right? Who's on this bed right now? Is Buddy here? Thanks. The kitten? I'm gonna stop it there. So at one point, this thing said whisper. Oh my 
Good. That was the clearest yes. Check this. Holy f he shouted. That was scary. Yes. All right, we're picking up some crazy evidence that scared me, man. I hate getting shouts. We got the clearest Christy is here. Yes, with something before that. Got a really shout when I'm talking about Buddy. People do not like me talking about Buddy, it seems. Now EVPs are working up here. Things are starting to kick off. I'm gonna head inside um, to the next room now. I'm gonna go to where the dead bodies were. Is that gonna be okay? They're not stopping me. I feel really happy with this area. This is super scary. This is ridiculous. I'm never doing this again alone, honestly. People think, you know, it's fun and games, but it's really scary. Dang, I'm trying to put the tripod back on. I'm keeping this recording. Oh my God, it's going off again. It just went off again. I saw yep. that. That's what I was looking at while he was fooling with that tripod. I was like, dang, that ball is balling. Let me do another EVP. One more. We're gonna keep it moving, but this is this is insane. Someone's on the bed. Are you trying to tell me something? Are you trying to tell me something? Again, I can almost hear something and I can't. I've never had that happen to me, ever like this many times in any place I've been to. Hey, it just shows that it's real. That's the thing. It just verifies if you guys are viewers on my channel that this thing really works. Really crazy. You wanna know how I know the REM pod's working? Because I'm next to it, you're next to it right now, the viewers, hasn't even been going off. That's crazy. I don't believe in a doubt that this place ain't haunted. And everyone do have crazier nights than me. That makes sense, it's gonna happen. It just says beware. It literally just said beware. Beware of what? Oh, and this is spiking. Oh, that might have been near my bag. Okay. Is it because of this though? Okay, yes, it's because of my phone. But that was a little scary after you just hear the word beware. Killer. Killer? Killer? Beware of killer? Beware of dropping your phone. We might break it. What killer? What's his name? Who's the killer? Them. Them. Who's the killer? Them, it says. Something about this ball, man. It moved once and I swear it moved again. I wanna bring it with us. Go over there. Oh, go over there. Yeah, go ahead, go on over there so you can get snatched up. It said, beware killers them. And it said, go over there. And it's literally talking about the f room that I have to go to next. I just brought it up. That gave me the chills. And I kicked the ball over there. Man, let look, look. Let Omar do a season, the episode, and throw a few black people in here. Boy, talk about entertaining. Go over there. They're like, over where? Over there? Killer? Over there? Them? What a ball just went? Nah, I'm going over there. Nick. We're going. I'm bringing this ball with me too. I have no hands, so I'm kicking it. Wait, is this even over there? Your. Your? No. No. Nah, this is it? Yeah, and here. Ain't there um, a body shoot or a, a body box? It's next to the lobby where people would walk right in. Right, you would be using the restroom and over on the other side of the wall, you'd have no idea of it. That's crazy. Yeah. Is there any activity in that specific like boxed room? It's a very active area. A lot of people do the Estes method in there. And sometimes it's someone that's not so very nice. Damn, this is <gasps> Heard like a door slam upstairs. It vibrated this whole thing. 
beware your husband. Christy's husband? Maybe it's talking about Christy still. Because Christy was talking to me. And now it says husband. Is, there, is Christy's husband a killer? I don't know. I'm getting that ball back. I'm bringing it over here. All right, there's the ball. All right, so game plan here in the body room. I'm keeping the ball right there. So if it moves, I'll capture it. My camera just stopped recording. The body room's right in there. I'm going in now. Now the body room, that's my, oh, I'm gonna give you a light right here. This is where they stored the bodies. There was something about me. I'm hearing a lot of little things about me, and that's the creepy thing about this place. Kill. Kill! It just said kill. Yeah, because this is the body room. They were dead. And I'm down here in this room now. It's really dark. I don't like that at all. Y'all, we still got an hour left. An hour left. We're about halfway through this live stream. We've been in here for an hour and 35 minutes with 582 likes. Hit that like button for your boy. We're going to see if we can get close to 1,000. 800. 800 at least by the end of the live stream. Appreciate y'all. Obviously, who would, right? That is not good. All right, I'm going to drop a little bit of tools here. One that guards me right here. If anyone wanted to come in while I'm in here, I'll know. I'm going to bring one more device out here. And that's a REM pod. And I'm going to keep the REM pod on this chair over here. Yeah, right there. Okay. And then right here, I have the spirit talker going and I'm gonna do a spirit box session because people say it works good here. I'm reaching out. There's many others. There's many others, I'm reaching out. You're hearing this right now? As I'm pulling out my device, there's many others. Of course, they were piled in here. That makes so much sense. And maybe they'll be able to talk to us. Avoid this area. Avoid this area. We heard kill and everything this whole time. I just honestly, dude, if it wasn't for this video for Omar, I would already, I would already leave. It's just so scary. My stomach hurts. All right, I'm sleeping. Who's here with us right now? What's your name? I swear I heard Katie. Am I safe here? Who's with me right now? Betty. Betty. You heard Betty? It was so clear. Betty. I'm sorry to hear that you passed away and you died here. How old were you? Are you protecting me, Betty? Grandmother, and I heard 102. What if she's actually, what if Betty died and she's still aging, so it's now 102 years old? I can't believe I heard Betty so clear. That was weird. I felt something like like a creak of something under my foot. Almost like when you step on a, 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 you know, a floor that creaks. It felt like that, but I shouldn't have felt that. I'm on carpet. Oh, my God. And then on top of that, I got this this mat on top of the carpet. But, heck, this mat do got cracks in it. It is getting dry rotted. But still, I'm not feeling that anymore. That was weird. What room is this? Is this a bad room? Did a lot of people die in this room? I don't think they died in there, but they did put the bodies. Can you make my device on that chair light up? Can you sit on that chair over there? Betty, am I going to be okay going to the third floor? You are? Demand. You're crazy, you're crazy, it says on here? Just said you're crazy. When I said third floor. 
Why am I crazy for going on the third floor? Did you die in this hospital? Are you trapped in this hospital? Do you want me to leave this hospital? If I shut this off, are you gonna say goodbye? We'll see. I'm gonna put this away now. Are you gonna say goodbye to me? Can you say goodbye, Betty? I heard yes. Say goodbye to me, please. just really talk about what just happened that was cool. i might not have gotten that was cool that was cool <laughs> that's why i did i was like huh it didn't sound like she said goodbye and then he turned the thing off and it said because i'm still around <laughs> a lot here but what i got was perfect it said a lot of things and i couldn't make it out i need you guys to listen you know maybe you guys heard more than me but as clear as day betty comes right out of that speaker betty as soon as I ask, who's here? Betty, that is amazing. You can say whatever, oh, Betty came out of here, whatever, it's a, it's a one in a million for Betty's name to come out through the radio like that. That was so cool. So Betty is here with us. I even said, who's here with us? Betty. So I hope Betty is good and everything's okay. Obviously there's someone else who's talking to us and I don't know if there's multiple people talking to us through the Spirit Box app, the Spirit Talk app or not. David, now there's someone, maybe David, I don't know. Remember, there's been a lot of people that died here. But everything's flowing and making sense all over here. It's been pretty good. And the fact that I'm doing this alone, I'm really proud of myself and the evidence we're getting here. I'm trying to figure out, do I go upstairs? Um, is there any more I should do here? Um, I did a lot here. Um, I can go back into the hallway really quick and just see what happens. Let me just pack up first. We hear you. I know you hear me. For those of you who are asking about my heart, it's doing better. Uh, what was that last live stream or yesterday or something? I think I told y'all I haven't had a palpitation. Or I didn't have a palpitation at all that day. And that was the first time in over a month. And so far today, I was good. I didn't have one today either. I'm still trying to give myself more time before I uh, get back to working out. Because I don't want them to spark back up. Because that's what sparked back up the last one. I think it was um yeah it was and i had him for like two months after that maybe even longer so i need more time more time to you know i really know you hear me that is so cool this didn't go off over there i was really surprised my light just died why don't y'all leave this man alone with his his jeans y'all talk about this man jeans tight y'all crazy it might be stretchy and if they stretchy, they might be form fitting, but they might not necessarily be tight or they might be tight. I really need this light on. Whatever. I'm going to max this one out bright really quick. That is way too scary. I ain't doing no outlash. Hell no. Coming back out. Did that ball move? Oh, it didn't move. There's a lot of rooms obviously here. I could spend days here. Well, I need to get a new light first of all. Um, but uh, you heard that above me? That's literally who I was talking to. Yeah, that. So somebody asked the question. I don't see the comment anymore. Somebody asked the question. Is Betty somebody that he knew about? Insinuating that Betty was, you know, this spirit or this entity that was well known um, um, in that hospital or whatever. But I don't know. I don't remember. But Dorothy, she was talking to a Dorothy and this is a Dorothy right here. So. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dorothy! I can't, I'm like speechless, like, wow! Wow! This Shantae, don't even play, you know good and well some pants can be form-fitting and be stretchy at the same time. Stop playing. This is crazy, I'm actually sweating right now. Alright. I only wear stretchy jeans. My Levi's, they be they fit real nice and, and, and good and sexy. Hey. 
But they be stretchy too. Let's check out. They'll be tight like no skinny jeans type mess though. The first room in here. But they be stretchy. Whoa. Don't don't make me go get them. I guess this place is used for weddings from time to time. And there was a woman who was changing her baby up here. We had a former worker here with her little. Shalante, don't you be over there backing up her. <laughs> baby. And she needs. Oh, Y'all supposed to be on my side now. You know, his jeans was tight though. I ain't gonna hold you. Get to change her diaper. He can't sag them, them things, nah. She went upstairs in the master bedroom and was changing little baby Harper. And Harper was just crying. Like, she was not having it. And all of a sudden, she's kind of like looking up at nothing and starts smiling, and she could hear like a shh. Hey, like Helen was trying to comfort the. She is so cute. Baby. Wow. So some people believe that Helen liked babies. She did have a lot of kids, so I do believe that she did like babies. Maybe we should talk in here. I just think that's crazy. This is the room where they see children playing up here, and they're like, "Oh, I want to go up there." This is. The attic. It also goes up over there. Wow. Look at this. Wow. Let's try to talk to Helen in here, maybe. Or Dorothy, if you'd still like to talk to me. For some reason, these... Oh, yeah. Thanks, Andrea. I did hear something about Betty. I couldn't remember what it was. Um, Andrea says Betty was the nurse who had the heart attack in the bathroom. The woman that was... Um, it, I remember they said that it was hard for they they were looking for her, and they end up finding her in the bathroom. But it took like two hours for them to get into the bathroom to retrieve her because of how she was positioned in there. Pictures stand out to me. Let's see what Dorothy has to say. All right, sitting on the ground in the wedding room where they heard what they believe is Helen going shh to a child. I'm gonna use the Spirit Talker app. This is where we were talking to Dorothy on, so. What's well, crazy, y'all, y'all shut up about dang old skinny jeans, gosh. For real, skinny jeans aren't even in no more. It's like baggy jeans, like look, you see, see Shorty right here? Where's, oh crap, I messed up. You see her pants? Di wait, what are these? <laughs> well. At least they're not skinny. Skinny jeans ain't in no more. What they believe. They'll come back in the future probably. I don't know. They just. Nobody rock with skinny jeans like that no more. I miss it though. Because on, on the right woman. Woo. Leave is Helen going shh to a child. I'm going to use the spirit talker app. This is where we were talking to Dorothy on. So Dorothy or Helen or whoever is here with us right now. Would like to say Hello. Dorothy, thank you for coming through earlier downstairs. I really do feel like you are protecting me up here. I saw your picture on the wall, and I would just like to say thank you for coming through. If you still Brandy. like to come through, just give us an answer on the device. Y'all, it's 10 p.m. on the East Coast. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? I heard you downstairs. You asked if you were... Man, I'd be freaked out because there's something right here. Like a mannequin or something behind this door? Nah, not me. Alive. You did ask for help. And Dorothy, you're not alive anymore. Do you know that? Did you make a noise, Dorothy? Is that what you're asking me to hear? Or were you the person who went shh to the baby up here? You guys, it's so dark in here. I can't. Nervous. Nervous. I would say a bit, yeah, just because it's very dark up here. I'm not going to tap. I'm not going to do it. Dorothy, do you like babies? Helen, do you like babies? Can you tell us who shushed the baby up here? Look at all these clothes. Mommy. Ma mommy. Mommy. I don't know what to think of that. Touch. Touch. It said mummy. It said touch. I don't exactly know what it's getting at. Is there anyone here with me still? Is there anyone who would like to talk to me? I'm at the stairs right now. Is there anyone by the stairs? Is there anyone up in the attic? 
Shout out to everybody that's still watching us on Twitch. Still going strong. The school room. Is there anyone here? Great. 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 Well, that's great. This is the kids' room. Is there anyone here who would like to talk? What room is this? Hmm. Jasper. Jasper. I wonder if there's someone else here that goes by the name of Jasper. Y'all wrong. Y'all, so y'all. You can't even see this. Y'all just be clowning folks, but they don't even be deserving it, man. Y'all wrong. Somebody in the chat, who was that? I'm gonna expose you. Who was that that said that 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 was wrong? Hold on, let me find it. Ah, yo, King Rock Kid said, man, her pants would confuse many dogs for fire hydra legs. Ah, that's a good one. That's a good one. See, look, I can't even trust y'all, man. Y'all might day clown me if y'all see my whole body. Look, I got my legs out. I got some dang on Nike shorts on. Go ahead. Say what you want about me. Wow. This is the house, you guys. Look at how beautiful that is. Whoa. This is the bathroom. Very interesting. Look at the top. This is how they would shower back then. Nah, that's how they, that's how they, that's how they bathe. Nah, I don't think they were showering. Like this, they didn't. Innocent. innocent. Jasper was innocent? Jasper, would you like to talk to me? Did something happen to you, Jasper? Whoa. Oh, yeah, them carbs, Sante, gonna give you that itis. You're gonna be knocked out. Look at all of this stuff. That's amazing. Whoa, the actual blueprints of the house. Maybe we should sit in here for a while. I kind of feel like we might get something. I don't mean to scare you. You don't mean to scare me? Jasper, is that you? I understand that you don't mean to scare me and that you're innocent. Would you like to talk? Okay, I'm sweating. This is the craziest night of my life. This is actually the craziest night of my life. I'm gonna need to bring a bag because I don't think none of these places are gonna have AC in them. I gotta bring me a little bag with a change of shirt and underwear. <laughs> the things that I've caught tonight, I just, I don't know how anyone could not believe in. 1990s. 1990s. Okay. I'm playing Sedanta. You know, I don't too much care. I just be talking mess. Jasper, were you from the 1990s? Every time it goes off, it scares me. Jasper, are you here? Jennifer is funny. She'd be like, how the tub clean, but the sink dirty. Would you like to talk? <clears throat> Excellent. Excellent. You'd like to talk? Can you tell me why you're at the Kellogg house? Were you the person who was trying to calm the baby down? Who was whispering? All right, let's go to a different app. Jasper, are you still here with us? <laughs> You hurt? Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Why? Good. I think it just said good. <laughs> I'm old. That's what it said. Hey, Jasper. Do you know Dorothy, Jasper? Ooh, it was so dark. No, you don't know Dorothy. If you'd like to talk, please say something. Let me know. I just keep hearing no, no. Would you like me to go back downstairs? Yes. Don't. Dorothy, can you come back and talk to me, please? Dorothy, if you're still here, can you please come and talk to me? Hearing screaming outside. Steve said, I got that trailer park business casual. <laughs> Dorothy, I saw your picture on the wall. Keep, keep them coming. I know that 
that you were part of this family, Dorothy. And I thank you for talking to me. Earlier you asked me if I could help you, and I was wondering, what is it that you need help with? Her pants got ventilation on the side. I know. She need to look. That stuff look. What is this material? Dorothy, are you still here? <laughs> baby, I Yo, that sounded evil. Keep hearing baby. Dorothy, what happened to your baby? I heard earlier downstairs you said baby. What happened? Sabrina says she's 4'11". Look, if you had on this woman's shoes right here, you'll be 5'4". Is Jasper her baby? You know what? She did say baby, and I know that there was a family tree over there. So let's see. So her baby was this woman. Her baby is still alive to current day, right? But she was born in 1924. Why are everybody talking about their height all of a sudden, man? I don't think she would be alive. Unless they don't know. Who started the height trend over here? Date that she passed away. I wonder if... Somebody said they're pleather. We can get... No! ...an answer about the family tree. They're not even pleather. They're like... What's that other stuff? Um, I can't remember. Spandex? Dorothy, I know you were talking to me about... Gina, your baby, and I was wondering, what is it that I can help you with? I swear it said baby again. That doesn't sound like baby to me. Dorothy, I know about. Yo, that's a good one. Dreadhead said her plant, her pants are plastic legs. Ah, uh, they do sound like a paper bag. Look, girl, I am not clowning you, but. Oh. I know there's a drip or two coming from somewhere in the pants. You know, even with the ventilation on the side. Oh, Gina, your baby. I have no idea what is going on outside. It sounds like something crying, someone crying. Latex, that might be it. I'm not, look, I'm, I'm real, real talk. I'm not trying to clown. I really don't know what the material of her pants. I'm really, um, Brandy says spandex would be clingy. I don't know. I'm really trying to figure out what, what the material of her pants is. Y'all wear 638 likes. We're trying to get at least 846 more minutes. I think we can do it. Going on. Hit that like button. Right now. Okay. No, I need to find out what's going on with Gina. Dorothy, are you still with us? Not Kristen said they're saran wrap. I know you wanted to ask me questions about Jeanne. I think her name's actually Jeanne, not Gina. That's my bad. It's Jeanne. Martha. Martha. Robinson. Robinson. You ever seen those um those those sauna suits? You ever seen those sauna suits that people be wearing in the gym? I know because I got the sauna suit myself. And they, and they help you sweat. That's what them pants look like. Ooh wee. If I was wearing them, boy. And she said it was hot up in there too. Butt crack dripping. Martha Robinson. I wonder if there's any relevance to that. Jeffrey is a fool, man. Y'all some clowns. Jeffrey says she about to start squeaking when she walk in a minute. To this place, Mar I ain't said Jeffrey did. The Robinson, because now she's coming through. This property is on ancient burial ground, so, or Native American ground, so they might have buried their people here underneath this house. I have no idea what's going on outside. Dorothy. Do you know why that woman was pushed down the stairs? Hey, moderators, got a question for you. I can't do it, but can you, if you um, block someone's message, can you unblock it? Let me know. Just say yes or no in the chat. Kid. Is there a child here right now? I know there's a schoolroom up here. 
I'm gonna let y'all know if y'all leave caps, the moderators is gonna they go hide your message. So just just don't put caps. Don't 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 put caps. That's all I'm saying. But I I, I like that parachute pants. That was a good one. I don't think we're getting anything else. I wish I could have found out more about her daughter. Dorothy seemed like a really nice woman. That's crazy. I can't believe that happened. Pilot. Oh, Shadante, you already know. Pilot. Kid pilot. I think I just heard something in the other room. Hello? Is there anyone in here? Bro, that looks spooky. Does anyone want to talk to me still? Hello? I heard child, kid. Is there anyone in here still that would like to talk to me? Stomach problems. Girl, you about to be like old boy and about to have stomach problems in a minute. Step, step. Did someone have stomach problems? That's Dorothy, about... did this have to do with you with the stomach problems? It's about to be you in a minute, girl. Did something happen to your baby? Okay. I think I'm tapping, guys. I think this is it. I think that's where I'm calling it. I just, there's no way. I, I once lived here. You once lived here. Right as I'm about to leave. Okay, now you wanna talk? Let's talk. Who am I talking to right now that once lived here? Helen, is that you? Healthy. Healthy. I don't know. Caroline, what type of stickers are you talking about? I got, I got my stickers. Got my, my my big face stickers. I got these are the only stickers I got. I need uh I don't know what else type of stickers I should get. Let me know. Uh ooh, actually, you're giving me you're giving me some ideas right now. Oh. But um go ahead, give me some more ideas. I'm I'm, I'm open ear. Alright. <laughs> you guys I'm calling Hey Spicy Barbecue. I don't Josco? Is that one of the guys in one of these videos? There's so many people. Look, I it's 16 of these dang on content creators. I can't keep up with all their names. This is it. Thank you for talking to me tonight. Helen, I know you're here. I'm about to walk down the stairs. All I ask is that you please don't do something hurtful. Medicine. Medicine. That's messed up. Y'all can unblock messages that y'all block, but I can't unblock them. Hurting. Hurting. Healthy, medicine, hurting, stomach problems. This sounds like Helen. Oh my God, I literally just thought I saw something standing right next to me. I feel like this is Helen talking right before she passed away. Maybe that's what she was experiencing. Maybe that's what she's telling me right now. Helen, are you sorry for what you did to your stepdaughter? That does make perfect sense. Um, Sedante said in the chat, why is it that every time that they're about to get ready to leave, the um the ghosts say something to like keep them and make them stay when you threw that frying pan at her you made her fall down the stairs ground ground oh oh i know she made that one to fall i'm done you're gonna be checking out the assay bill i'm about to say i hope she don't fall down the stairs that'd be crazy Things notorious for that's so dangerous you can die from that having all kinds of issues recently in fact my wife and i were in there she was actually bit like on her lower leg she and bit on her leg bit on her leg bit her? Uh, we, we don't know it looks like child-sized teeth marks on her leg um that just really? appeared she felt the pain didn't even think that it was a bite just assumed you're out here and there no animal out there with her there was nothing i mean there would have been probably a lot of blood if it was an animal you know i think she would have right. noticed it but she did feel a pain in her leg i don't know why it happened but it's just one of those things but you gotta understand the SA building back in its day, like women were not allowed in that building. Like before women really had their rights here in the United States, before Arizona was even a state. And there was only one lady that was allowed inside that building and she was one that tailored clothes and fixed the minors like garments and things like that. Like she was the only person that was a female that was justifiably allowed inside that building. Women were not allowed in there. So it only makes sense that with a woman going in there, and especially a strong woman like my wife, that something might try to do something. I just saw Oh, that's messed up. Yeah, okay, Steve. That sucks that we can't do it. Building, before I go in here, 
Same little prayer. Whatever is here is not allowed to follow me home. You're not allowed to touch me. This is the building where his wife was actually bitten on her foot. And that's crazy that y'all have all this control over my chat, but I can't do it. What's in here that would bite her or could bite her? It's crazy how they have all these things set up around here where you can't walk too much. They don't want to mess you. You know, obviously have people come here and disturb some of the history of it. I'm not sure what's actual. Like I was trying to unblock Shadante's um, comment that she made about me. Cause I ain't seen nothing wrong with it, but I couldn't undo it. Original to this building. Oh, did you hear that? I do not understand. What don't you understand? The actual gold was kept underground for here somewhere. I'm wondering if it's see it anywhere so like 666 hurry up somebody hit that like button came into this building earlier and i wasn't recording and there was a door that literally started moving and shaking on its own dude i am feeling off because none of this looks like it looked earlier nothing feels like it was bro that's not the same place i'm gonna put this down for a second I feel, I just, I've been, I can't even begin to explain something to you right now. Something here is not happy that I'm here. I don't know why. I feel it's almost like, it, it's so weird. I've never had this happen where I had something like try to enter my body. I don't even know the best way to say it. I almost felt like something was trying to push its way inside of me when we were in the brothel. I honestly, bro, 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 whoa, what kind of brothel are you going to? What kind of problem are you going to? Where stuff is trying to go inside of you, it's supposed to be the other way around. I doubt. I don't even remember what I said. All I know is I was holding the camera like down and I was sitting on the couch. I feel like something literally tried to attack me in there. But now we're in here. I don't see the gold there. Okay. Hey, Sunrise, I love all the ideas. I'm going to go ahead and start talking to my people about trying to make um, that happen. I, I really like, those are really good ideas. Actually, let me take a picture of what you're saying in the chat. Because I think I know just the person for that. I'm hearing voices. Are you guys hearing this? Who's here with us? Can you give me your name again? Where is the gold room? Oh, and here it is. This is where you kept your gold? There's like a little tap up there. So this is a hole where they used to keep the gold underneath. I've talked to the owner, the owner that has been in charge of letting people in here for a long time. He himself has never been down there and he doesn't know anybody that has. Now is the SA building the same building that has the underground area that they kept the gold in? Yes, it does. Yes, that is the one. Right. Yeah. Have you been down there before? I've personally not gone down there. No. No, no I have not. Why not? It, maybe there's gold down there. Maybe, but I'm not gonna go down there. What happens yeah. if I go down there and find gold today? And we'll well, then, then, I get a cut. <laughs> I get 10% okay. finders. If you make it out, yeah. Well, we're gonna do that right now, guys. Oh, I literally am getting... This man is a fool. The owner hasn't been down there. No one that the owner knows has been down there. And he's about to take his butt down there. He probably can't even see the skeleton that's sitting at the very bottom of that pit right now. Like, the worst feeling? Oh, they moved it. That What? Nah. There was a... I thought nobody been down there because I swear when I record it and put it on my channel, there was a skeleton down there. But I'm going to do this for you guys. I don't even really know where we should begin. Guess I really got to get my leg up there. I have to pull these pins up, boy. There we go. I'm trying to get this along. Do y'all see this? This pumpkin man right here? I bet you he didn't see that mess either because it would have scared the smack out of him if he did. Cause that junk, them things be scary looking. We went into the room where the guy that makes these, he does a great job. 
I'm like, dude, like these look so dope, and you just use like whatever, you know, like a regular pumpkin and, and twigs and branches and stuff, and it's like, but how you make it look that good though? He gonna hurt himself. He gonna fall in there. Watch it. Be careful, bro. You should have you. You should have put the camera down first. Let's go down there, guys. Whoa, look at that. Could you imagine that being a gold back there? It's kind of hard to breathe down here. Right off the bat, um... I'm just feeling very claustrophobic in here. It's not as big as I thought it would be, but I guess you don't really need that big of a room for your gold stash. Hmm. Yeah, for real, that junk ain't big at all. Any gold that has been buried and left? That would be nice if it was, but unfortunately, we're not going to find free gold here today. But I guess we'll just get out of here. There's not that much going on. I don't know which exact area she was at when she had her ankle bit, what she might have been saying, or maybe she conjured something. But that ain't gonna be me. You ain't gonna see me conjuring anything crazy here, but I will help if there's anything, anything or anyone needs or any spirits need. All right, we're gonna climb out of this hole. Okay. Oh, what was that? Hello? Hello? I'm gonna get up there. Alright. I'm getting out of here. There's no gold. There's no gold here. There's no gold left. So now that they know we're not gonna take their gold. Um, wait, what did I just say? Exactly. He over here just running his mouth. Don't even know what he's talking about. Just saying words. And now he don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Just there's no gold. Now that they know we're not going to take their gold. Wait, what did I just say? <laughs> ah. Filling up space with words. Bro, this is really weird, man. I don't... I'm going to get on out of this thing. Because this is a very bad spot if I'm not feeling too well. Here. I was literally dropped off in the middle of a ghost town. They lost their car, unfortunately got stuck. Yeah, there really was not much down there. <sighs> Go to nail. Shout out to you and the wife. I'll keep going out here. Right, I'm gonna just, probably just take a break. Probably the best thing we can do. I suggest to any of you guys, uh, don't go to places on your own. It's really not a wise thing to do. Um, if something goes wrong, something happens, you don't feel good, you pack. Y'all some fools. Some of y'all are like, he's blind. How is he going to see the gold? And then some of y'all are like, yeah, there's definitely gold there. He just can't see it. That's how, God forbid, there's nobody out there with you. Some of this stuff. Y'all, we almost there, 111 more likes, and that will get us to 800 likes. By the end of that live stream, we got 35 more minutes. We doing good. Make it 45 with my talking. Like, and his. I, I've literally felt something overcome me here. And I, I honestly wish I walked out of that brothel a little bit sooner. But I don't have any idea what I said then. And I feel like. Oh, so now I tell you, best believe. I already know, baby. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, wait, what? I'm forgetting the whole uh. time I'm here. I don't get this. I really don't. I'm so confused right now. We know. You st you confused this whole time you've been out there in Vulture City. We know. We know. You don't, you don't know where he at right now. I don't even remember who's supposed to pick me up right now. 
Yeah, he cool. He cool and all, um, Sabrina, but he legally blind. Oh. I'm coming. My man's walked all into that table just now just to pick the camera up off of it. He walked all into that table. Whoa. I'm coming. I mean, what? Did you hear that out there? I keep saying things that I don't mean, too. Like I really... Oh, you ain't see nothing. Why are you just sitting here alive? I just said I'm coming, and I don't know why I even said that. It's so freaking weird. It's freaking. Yo, that would be a dope sticker, Caroline. Caroline! Yeah, I need to just step out of this building. I need to go and relax or something for a little bit because, um, yeah, something is, is this. It's not good here. Why do I keep and just be right back in the same spot? Hello? Is that the door we were supposed to go through before anyways? Oh. Okay, I think I'm gonna feel a little better being outside there. Yes, gonna... that is definitely the door to the outside. One thing I would say about the, the place that he was just in, this is the one place where I experienced something as well. Um, everybody that I was with, we all experienced something in this in this building right here. And what it felt like it almost felt like this overwhelming sense of there being something there. It, it felt like the, the air was heavier and thicker. And it was in different rooms, too. Like, when you go into this space right here, um, up like, this, this place had multiple spirits in there. You had spirits upstairs, downstairs. There was multiple spirits in this building right here. And in certain rooms, they felt completely different. Like you have this area over here felt warmer and the area where he was just that over here felt cooler. But you in the area that's cooler, you you felt the air was like something is here. It felt thicker. It was weird. It, I had never experienced anything like it in my life. And I think he's experiencing stuff right now, like how we experience. But he's a, a bit confused about what he's experiencing because he don't see nothing. Out here, it might and, be and, and it's funny because we didn't see anything, we felt it. And I would think he would be feeling it, but he's proclaiming he's seeing it. It's almost like his vision got better. Okay, I think I'm gonna feel a little better being outside there. I'm just gonna have a seat out here. It might be a good idea just to take some time outside, just relax. Something was just giving me an off feeling. Or pulling me back in here might not be the best idea to come in here but i feel like they want something what is it that you want can you tell me in this in this app right here in this phone what is it that you want positive positive okay i can be positive can you tell me why you bit my friend my friend's wife was in here less than a year ago and something bit her can you tell me why you did that? What's this? It's like an old... Come here. Come where? Come where? I was going to look in this drawer right here. Mm, Richard, the answer is no. Not going back here. I want to try somewhere different. See if you can even get in this. If it's just for show. And it says to come here. Where do you want me to come? You want... Oh, what the f***? was that? That just sounded like somebody was freaking laughing. What the hell was that? Did y'all hear laughing? Let me go back. See if you can even get in this or if it was just for show. And it says to come here. Where do you want me to come? You want... Oh, what the f*** was that? That just sounded like somebody was freaking laughing. What the hell was that? Who's laughing? Who can hear me out there? Dude, I heard, literally heard a laugh. I don't even know where it came from. Let me know if you guys heard that. They totally heard like a laughter. Does you think it's funny? You think biting my friend is funny? Some 
Something's definitely trying to mess with me here, that's for sure. Ooh. Correct. Oh, yeah, I know it's correct. You don't have to tell me. Whoa, what the f is that behind me? Someone's tapping on me. You're not gonna scare me. Like, I'll be here. Guys, have you seen things that I've missed? Like, it is definitely quite possible that I've looked at some apparition two or three times and don't even know it. Screaming. Screaming? Who's screaming? That's what we heard was screaming. Why are you screaming? Oh, f What the hell? Okay, something literally just grabbed my leg. Oh, freaking burns too. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Like, this isn't good. What the hell was that? Dude, it's like something just grabbed my freaking leg. I'm not going back in there. That was crazy. I was back on the first floor because my light died. And sadly, this light's dying too. I physically told Omar and everyone that I was gonna go on the third floor and be by myself with no lights. Being in this place by yourself is already hard, but going on the third floor with no lights, I can't do it. And with the stories about some seven foot shadow man up there, how could you guys blame me? I know you guys are gonna be like, ah, oh, you're scaredy cat, go without the lights, we wanna see it. And I do get it, I do. I would have done it if I was with someone. When you're alone, it is so hard to do. And now my light just died. I don't know. I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll bring this camera with me. We'll see what we can do. I'll at least attempt it for a second. I'm gonna get geared out right now. Seriously, wish me luck. I mean, guys, seriously, subscribe, please, for what I'm doing. This is just puts me in like stress nonstop. And I don't even actually like it anymore. I'm, I would never do this again by myself. And I'm truthfully, I'm not going to. All right, I got my body cam footage, so if I die, I have found footage for this one. Oh, all right, all right. Back upstairs. Wait, what the heck? Cam footage, so if I die, I have found footage for this one. Is there a mannequin or something right here? Oh, all right, all right. Back upstairs. All right, I'm recording on both cameras now, night vision and non-night vision. Okay, so third floor it is. This is the last place in the building. The only known thing there is a shadow figure and Nelly. We're gonna go to her room, and if we see a shadow figure, we're gonna run. That's second floor. Okay. Third floor, here we are. Oh man, here we go again. I'm over here thinking y'all gonna be on this man about overreacting and y'all quickly jump on his pants. Oh man. What was that? It's a whole metal like as if a door is closed downstairs. Oh God. already like I can't even hold my breath I'm just scared and they probably want me scared is anyone up here I feel like this is as far as I can go without my IR light and I I seriously mean it I seriously mean it if there's anyone here, can you give me a, no a noise or a sound? That was f huge. I'm bringing my light. I don't give a f I'm gonna go straight to Nelly's. This place is f it's just so scary. Like, I don't feel good here. I feel like generally scared for my life. My eye light can see all the way down the hallway. It's actually pretty impressive. Just listening. 
something down there. Is there someone down there? I heard it, dude. I f***ing heard it. Jeez. I swear I hear voices. I don't even know where Nelly's room is. What's this hanging up here for? There's generally nothing okay with what I'm doing right now. And I feel like a little baby and I don't even care. I don't even care. This is her room. Okay. My last room and then I leave. I don't even care. This, the anxiety is literally real right now. I feel glad that I'm actually in this room. I don't know if I should be glad, but I feel glad. Nellie is up there. She was a dementia patient. She was left here by her family. What have people experienced with Nellie? Nellie really likes men. Okay. Yeah. That works out for me then. Yeah, I like to look. <laughs> she doesn't like her door shut. Okay. So there's a bell on the door. You may hear the a little ding or something like that. All right. Now they say if I close her door, she would be mad. I'm not saying I'm going to do that. I'm panicking. I'm like getting a little dizzy. Like I'm just really nervous. I don't even want to make the wrong move here. I'm going to set up some toys, and I'm just going to try. I'm really surprised that my music box, she's here. She's here. That just went off right now. What else is going to trigger that? Nelly, is that you? Just in case I'm putting something out here. I'm not, le I'm not leaving. If you want me to stay or not, you... She was literally just trying to get my attention. Look at, look at, as soon as I turn around and leave, she... Okay, that was me. She got a man in her room. She like you, man. She like, ooh, who's this cute boy? That was me. I'm freaking myself out. There y'all go, there y'all go. He said he'd be freaking himself out. Or as soon as I leave, she's literally hitting it for me not to go. I'm, I'm gonna stay. I mean, I'm assuming that's what it is. But well, she's telling me to get the in case that goes off, I'm gonna hear it. Yup, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. And you're gonna tell me something. You're gonna have a little talk. Okay. Feeling a little bit. Yup, no, I'm here. Shh. Stories are probably a thousand percent true. I'm gonna end it with this one. This is an Alice box. There. Very, yup. Very big close up. It's pretty much like the spirit talker I just used. It searches for voices that's not mine, and it says what it says. Where are you right now? That's what I want to know. You're right, yep, I heard it. Duh, she's right there. No. No. All right, so maybe she doesn't want me here, and she's hitting that to get me the f out. Yup, oh, is that it? Is that actually what you want me to do? I will leave. Maybe you can talk to me for a little bit. All right, I'm gonna turn this off really quick so we can talk in a different way. Now, I think Nellie likes men, and so I'm gonna sit on her bed. Nellie, can you make my REM pod go off behind me? I'm also gonna try to talk to you with a device in my hand. This is an EVP recorder, we call it. It allows us to hear you and talk to you. What the hell was that? That whole ball just lit up green. Why did it do that? Recording now with the Alice box in. Keep in mind if you hear voices that comes from that, make sure you don't hear it out of here. Anything's possible. Nelly, are you here with us? I'm just here to talk to you. I'm by myself, all alone here in this whole hospital. I'm sorry that you died here. Do you want me to leave? Do you want me to lay down with you on the bed? This is unhappy, hey is unhappy so just to show you it says right there is unhappy as a top one is unhappy and it says i think help but it doesn't even show the whole thing out of here and i never had mitzi we got another 23 minutes this alice box show that many words in a line and it's c c cutting out is unhappy help that's the first time i've ever seen that on this box actually we're gonna keep it going here we go moving forward then with is unhappy help 
Let's see, what does it want? It seems like it just needs help. I mean, every time when I was about to leave, the rem, he, she, she, the REM pod was hitting it to tell me not to go. Should I tell you what you're talking about if you were a man? I'm just here to talk to you. I'm by myself all along here in this whole hospital. I'm sorry that you died here. Do you want me to leave? It's talking right over and I can't make it out. It's the most wildest crazy thing to me. But everything else is going off with the REM pod, the, the voices, it's pretty crazy. I'm gonna see what else I can do to try to get her to talk. I'm gonna move the music box because it's in such a weird spot. I'll put the music box by the door because that's also another, you know, different area. Put this right here too. Yeah, see that ball just went off again. It was green. I knew it was green. Why is that going off like that? Nelly. Machine. She knows how to use this one. That's the thing. She knows how to use this device. She's not laying on the bed. She's not like getting near me in that way. Nelly, can you make any other device go off? Maybe the one outside your door that's blinking blue? Can you touch that one? Or maybe the one on the, the chair? What if I shut your door? Is that gonna be bad? Oh, so you wanna touch that one. <gasps> Holy f She f like tapped that whole window. She does not want me to shut that door. And that's what everyone said. But that was clear as day. So you don't want me to shut the door, right? <gasps> no. It just went off like what I said. Oh my God. F thing overheated. That camera overheated, but look. It's right there. I just said you don't want me to shut the door, right? Boom. Goes red. Now it's back to blue. Wow, that thing's so creepy. That's insane to think about, dude. To think about that, this got tapped. We heard it when I brought it up the first and second time. It makes that go off. So I'm not going to shut your door. Is that going to be better then? Nah, bro. I, There's rumors. I want you to shut the door. I want to see what happened if he shut the door. Y'all, we got 20 more minutes left in this video. I know we can get up to 800 likes in that 20 minutes. We're at 716. Hit that like button for your boy. About a huge shadow figure that's roaming this hallway. Is that true? She doesn't care. It's like, as soon as I... Dang, Jeffrey, thanks. Now I gotta go listen to country grammar after this. Bring up closing her door. That's... Classic. When, like, she cared. I'm about to pull it up on my phone right now. Look. I'm not gonna say it again. I don't want to disturb her. She died of dementia. And that's already sad enough. Do you want me to leave, Nelly? You want me to leave this hospital for good and never come back? All right, so what we got from here was clear evidence in my opinion that we are talking to Nelly. They said Nelly doesn't like her door closed. I brought it up twice or three times. Thumps against the whole wall or the window. The other device went off. The REM pod's been going off. She wants our attention. I think she's super lonely and lost. And that makes me honestly really upset. I'm just picturing her with dementia and she just like, you know, it's just, I don't know. I'm getting like so like sad about it. And I don't even know why. It's like she's making me feel how she feels. And it's really like awkward and, and upsetting, but I just feel so awful right now. So I'm not gonna- Good night, Gemini Queen. Thank you for hanging out with us for this long. Two and a half hours, you did good, baby girl. I even bother here in these couple rooms or this area anymore. We checked out every spot, every room that had the story. The last thing was there was to look for a shadow man, but I walked around enough. I mean, without proper devices and stuff, trying to catch a shadow figure is already going to be hard enough because I barely have ever seen one except maybe like twice in my life on rare occasions. Um, I think I think they 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 appear when you ex least expect it kind of thing. You know what I mean? 
Um, I, I mean, I feel really proud of myself to do this by myself and alone. It's been a wild experience and journey and I promise you I won't be doing this again. I don't have to stress or die early from a heart attack from doing this stuff alone and like feeling like I'm torturing myself because that's honestly what it feels like. Every second you're just nervous or you don't know what's gonna happen. Yes, Sunrise, it most certainly was. But I will say right now, I will leave this right here with the light bouncing back to this camera. I will at least go out there and I'm gonna try a DR60 as I walk and see if something could be heard or seen. So keep your eyes open. I'm only doing this once. This is how I'm ending it. And if I get nothing, then I get nothing, but we keep it real. Going in night mode. Mode, DR60. If there's anyone down there, can you give me a sign? Do you want me to leave this place? Can you tell me my own name? It's weird. Can you close Nelly door? Because like, honestly, I'm hearing things in there. I really am, but I'm not going. I'm not going alone. I feel that the third floor has a lot of like darkness to it, but Nelly's like, this is where she got lost and sad. I know I was talking to her because I just felt it. I felt that it was her, like her sadness and stuff, whether it was her or someone else, someone that was lost, like she was making me feel how she was feeling. I'm just gonna play this one back, but I'm done. I'm done now. It's a lot on me. This is a lot of work, like on my mind and my health and energy to be here by myself and alone. And it's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's an experience though. It really is. If we get something, we get something. I use this device in every video. And this is the first time I really didn't get a super clear, clear response ever. So it's super strange and weird. If there's anyone down there, can you give me a sign? Watch. If there's anyone down there, can you give me a sign? Yes, I can. Do you want me to leave this place? Can you tell me my own name? Hello? This is a place of holiness and supposed to be sanctity between people, but this was actually more of division than it was anything because the priest actually impregnated two of the nuns that lived upstairs. And unfortunately, they went up inside themselves, took the fetuses out, took them down to the basement and put the actual children in the incinerator. That is f***ed up. All right, how's it make you feel if I stand right up here and act as if I'm preaching to the choir here? I'm gonna start up my spirit box here right next to the Bible and maybe you can tell me a page to turn to. Maybe you can tell me a verse of some sort. Maybe even start with a name. Totally up to you. I said it earlier. I want you to come and scare me. Would you help? Would you help? Yes, I would help. I would love to help. Do you need help moving on? Do you need help mowing your lawn? I don't, I don't know. You gotta elaborate just a little bit for me. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just trying to communicate with you one-on-one. -on -one. I would love to help you. Rich. Rich, okay. Are you insinuating that I'm rich and you need my help like monetarily or is your name Rich? Yes. His, okay, so Rich must be his name. Okay, so now we know who we're dealing with. Hello, Rich. I see you need my help, but you need to help me out just a little bit here in understanding this. I'm gonna put this device up for you. And this device that I'm holding with this really tall antenna is like an old radio you may have listened to back in the day. But I'm gonna turn this on, it's an EMF meter. This is what it's gonna sound like when you touch it. It's gonna let me know that you're around me. So I'm gonna set this right here for you. Don't be nervous, come up and touch it, just like that. That's gonna let me know that you are around me, right? You gotta be me. It says, listen upstairs. Wait, no, 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 no. The last time you told me to listen, you said, listen carefully, and then bad happened to me. So no, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna keep talking. I'm in control of this situation. I'm not listening to anything upstairs. You can make a noise if you want, but I'm 
I am not going through this twice. Are you frightened? What the? What the? Yes, I'm frightened. It just said, are you frightened? Yes, I am clearly frightened. It's dark. It's a dingy place. Ghosts running all around this place. I presume I got attacked earlier. So yes, I would say I'm frightened. Any normal or logical human being would probably be that way too. I'm just trying to communicate with you. I'm trying to get some answers. Maybe be your friend one day. Maybe we'll go grab a tea after I die or something. Who knows? Can you tell me something else? Maybe what am I supposed to be listening for upstairs? Roman, hang on, that's a, that's a thing in the Bible. I can use this. Okay, I can use this. Okay, what are you talking about? I can use this, Romans. Hang on, I'm trying to find it. Keep talking into this thing because we're- You gotta go to the table of contents or the index maybe. We're Look, I don't know nothing about the Bible. Communicating good with each other right now. I'm trying to find the book of Romans. You said I can use this. Okay, you can use the book of Romans to communicate through me, yes. The book of Romans. Okay, maybe there is no such thing as a book of Romans in the Bible or Thank something. Thank you. I don't know why I thought that, but... No, no, there is a book of Romans. There is a book of Romans. I just found it. Watch yourself here. Watch yourself here? Oh, it got cold again. I'm going to walk around here. I'm going to stand right here in the middle of the church. You said listen upstairs. I'm listening. What up, relaxing? Go ahead. She pushed. She pushed. Hey, Mitzi, look, I, I posted content to the other channel today. You might have something to watch. Okay, what did she push upstairs? Okay, I heard that. I definitely heard that. Okay. Real quick question, y'all. Anybody, any of y'all been watching the live action um, One Piece on Netflix? I've never really, I've never watched One Piece, but the live, the live action, I'm enjoying it. I'm almost done. I got like two more episodes. Give me some more information. What am I supposed to be hearing? I, I mean, I know some bad stuff happened in this chapel. I know there was, you know, abortions performed and all this crazy stuff. Hear my voice. Okay, I'm listening for your voice. Go ahead and talk. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna listen again like an idiot like I did earlier. <gasps> no way in hell. Wait, that's coming from the hallway. No way. What the fuck? No way. No way. I scare people is what it just said. Okay. Well, yeah, you clearly scared me earlier and you're scaring me again. I know. I just heard you walking down that hallway. I know that was you. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm pretty sure that you did scare people, just like you said. Do you know who attacked me in the hallway? Because there, there's no two ways about it. I was literally attacked in the hallway. So call it what you want, but... It was not a friendly gesture. All right, come on, tell me. I'm coming down the hallway again. So there's a book of Roman after John's, okay. Right to the place where I was earlier. Impressive. You just said impressive. Yeah, that is that is impressive that I would be this stupid to come back out here towards where all this crazy stuff just happened. So what are you gonna do about it if I sit right here again? I'm gonna set up my light. I'm gonna set up the camera just like I had earlier. Okay, okay, f this. Oh boy. Right, Christopher? Yeah, it's a pretty good show. I like the way they're doing it. It said it supposedly it took them three years to make the first season. So the next season is gonna come out, I think twenty twenty four or twenty no 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 no. Like twenty twenty six or something. I'm like, no. It's like all the special effects that they put into it takes a long time. I'm like, freak. That is literally pitch black darkness. I'm looking through an LCD screen, and that is the only light that I have. I am going to, gosh damn, this is terrifying. Hang on, I'm gonna turn on another infrared light. That help me out a little bit. Okay, here we go. This is the moment that all of you have been waiting for, the mother effing basement. And um, for some context and stuff, there's a, a massive eight foot snake. No, not like a two foot, not a three foot, not a four foot, an eight foot snake down here somewhere. Snakes are my biggest fear. Demons are my second. So I feel like I'm dealing with both. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. So down in the basement, there is blood still on the walls from a bad situation that happened when unfortunately a wife to a husband was messing around with her lover and they were downstairs. The husband found out. He goes right down there to the kitchen, right down this hallway, grabs the biggest knife that he could find, runs down there into the basement, stabs the wife first, 
stabs the lover second and then stabs himself as well and there is still blood on the wall now why they didn't clean it off that's beyond me and for you all to decide the craziest part is the blood has been on the wall for 40 plus years i literally hate this i, I literally hate this all right i'm gonna check the ceiling for large massive snakes i know that thing's around here somewhere i i, I just i literally know it my heart and soul. Bro, that's the thing about this mess, man. All these places that they've gone to, there could be snakes and spiders. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not manifesting it, but sorry if I'm walking slow. I literally cannot see. Hey, Megs, you got to send me the link to that. That sounds interesting. Hello? Are there any spirits down here with me or what? I heard that there's some pretty uh, gruesome things that happened down. Yeah, Steve. Yeah, you definitely should watch it. This is good. I enjoy it a lot. I mean, I'm upset it's going to take so long for another season. I'm probably going to be married with kids by the time the next season comes out. Here in the basement. Okay, it just said, uh, listen upstairs. This thing is literally trying to get me to go upstairs. Now I want to watch the cartoon. I ain't never even watched the anime. There it again. That'd have been good. I'm in the pitch black darkness and there's like a, a ditch. Damn it, this ain't one creepy basement right here, y'all. I, I just, I kind of feel like surrounded. Curse. Curse. Okay. Maybe there is a curse down here. Oh my gosh. There it is. The incinerator right here. All right, we got seven and a half more minutes. We wrapping it up, getting close to the end. He killed us. Oh, no f way. Oof. Oof. Oh, man. Oh, sh All right. Oh, my gosh. Yo. Hey, Omar. When I got down to the basement, that's what ended and settled all of it for me. So I don't think I was breathing the entire time I was down there. I know it sounds stupid, but I feel like I was almost holding my breath now thinking back on it. You know, when I started to feel like I was gonna black out, I'm like, I think this is time to just get the hell out of the basement. Is this maybe a sign from above, below, beside me to get the hell out of the basement? And I truly think it was. So I came up out of the basement really quick. You can feel there's something heavy down there. You're hiding. Oh, we're hiding. That no just said we're way. hiding. So I they're hiding anymore. I'm down there. I'm walking through. I find the incinerator. Guess what comes on this? He killed us. He killed us. I was about to say I heard that. It said curse. I walked into this room. It said curse. And then I walked over. I'm like, oh, it's the incinerator. And it said he killed us. And I am literally filming inside the incinerator. I stand up and he, it says he killed us. So at that point, I'm like, okay, I've started to feel really lightheaded. I don't know how to explain it. Like I, th I thought I was gonna pass out again. So I'm like, okay, hang on a second. Let me, let me just get out of here. And I don't know if it's just such, such like a heavy feeling down there or something, but like, dude, something is f***ed in that basement. I personally will not come back here alone and explore this hospital and investigate. I would come back with a group of three to four people. Now, the reason why I'm gonna tell you that is because the power is in numbers, right? You're putting yourself in a very, very touchy situation when you're messing with dark entities, evil entities, you're really at risk. And the more people that you can have around you, it's more brain power computing, right? So I would notice something going wrong with Omar just as much as he would with me, where if you're alone like I was, maybe I was missing signs until we go back and review this footage. I mean, we don't really know. Was I missing like blatantly obvious signs right before I had that sharp stabbing pain? That's why it's important to bring people with you when you do this, because you are at risk.
I'm not going back in there. There's no. Yo, that would be a great idea. A, a scary looking doll holding up a Ouija board. I like it. Wait. Did you? I, I, I can't even. I can't even begin to say what the hell just happened in there. I mean, it just did something to my leg. I don't even know what it is. I feel like something. I guess you could say that felt like something bit, but I don't. I don't think anything bit me, but it felt like something grabbed me. But my skin's all messed up right here. Holy crap! I think I need to uh, just step away from this area. Wait for my ride to get out here. Hopefully they'll be out here pretty soon. I've been waiting hours and hoping they would get here and just not feeling right. Do not try this at home. Don't try going to these places all alone by yourself. It takes a special kind of person to set yourself up for something like this. At least we're getting out of here safe and sound. Thank God, we safe. Getting out of there. From the beginning of this day to the very end of this day, it's been absolutely insane. It's been totally crazy. I'm glad we made it out. I'm glad we're alive. Vulture City definitely is haunted. It definitely didn't disappoint, but now knowing where we were before we even got to Vulture City, it honestly makes me very thankful just to be here, to have made it through, to be alive right now, because that was a really dangerous spot to be in. The locals are not very nice there, and I'm just happy we got out. I'm walking down the stairs now, Helen. Roger. Roger? Was that Roger? I don't know. All I know is I'm getting out of here. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I did this. I'm done. Oh my god. I can't open the door. I can't open the door. Duh, because you were locked in, folk. Oh my god. Oh. I am proud of myself for surviving the night alone at the Kellogg house. I thought I was definitely going to tap out at one point. I do believe that Helen is still here. I feel like the Kellogg house is a place for the family members. Every time she say that, I think of cereal. Maybe this could be like their grave where they all come by. This is their family reunion. That's what I believe the Kellogg house is. Would I do this again? Maybe if I got a couple good nights sleep, maybe I would, but we'll have to see how it's. I can see why people hate the third floor. That was f***ing scary. A lot of stuff you can get up here. Well, from right that, I don't know. I couldn't make out those last two. I know you guys couldn't either. But the yes I can was so good. That's what I'm used to getting. Right there. But I can't handle it. I can't handle being here. If this was a challenge to survive the night by yourself, I generally don't want to do it anymore. Cause it's just too much. I'm not giving up, but I felt like I've done a lot and the most I could by myself. I can't go down, down these hallways by myself because I generally feel that there's so much going on and I'm just not ready for it by myself. But if you guys have been noticing me from the, in the past until now, I've came a long way, but this is way too much for me to keep going. Um, what we got in Nelly's was good enough, but after just talking to her and how I just feel, I don't know, it made me so sad. And now I feel like I'm weakened and I'm not going any further. And I'm gonna end this right here. I'm gonna go back down to the bottom. I'm gonna just put everything away right now. I'm gonna keep it recording now for our purposes, whether things happen or not though. I'm leaving now. Got anything to do or say to me, you can do that. But you can't follow me home. You can't follow me anywhere. I'm retiring from this shit, man. I feel so drained. I'm gonna pack up. I'm heading out of here. Thanks so much for watching and I appreciate it. This has been one hell of a trip, being by myself doing this. I'm bringing my running shoes if I do some mess like this. We didn't have some of the most craziest things go off, but doing this alone feels like it's still that, just in your own head and mind. Rise above. Just get out there and explore. Peace and thanks for watching. In the next episode of Alone Paranormal Edition. Sean. Oh, yeah, my name's Sean. That's probably where he wants me to go. I'm over here now. Oh, shit. Scotty, I'm here. Scotty's here. He's dangerous. Children here. No way. No way. I can scare you. So, 10, this is the 
is going down. Episode 10 is going down. Woo. Y'all, we made it. Three hours. Three hours we were in here. Wasn't expected for it to be that long. I knew it was going to be long because it was a two hour long video. But goodness gracious. Woo. <sighs> More people being eliminated. I wonder if this is going to be the next group going to be eliminated in the next video. But we're going to find out once that video drops. Y'all probably won't see much of me tomorrow. Unfortunately, I got a friend coming in town from Japan. But I will be vlogging. Going to hang out with him and pick him up. I also got um, a Jeep event. A meeting tomorrow night as 